This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want right here, toll free at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. And that is the Pro XPN toll free line with you in the studio tonight. It's Ian. Oh, Allie, I should turn your microphone on. Let's try that again. It's Allie. All right. And Mark. And, uh, of course, we're here. We'll take your calls, 855-450-FREE. It is Mark and I's last show in the studio for this week, as we will be leaving beautiful New Hampshire tomorrow for Austin, Texas. Wow. That's right. And the Austin, uh, or the, excuse me, the Texas uh, Bitcoin conference, because this is bigger than just Austin. It just happens to be happening uh, in Austin. We'll tell you more about that coming up here in a little bit. I'm pretty excited about it. That's going to be happening Wednesday and Thursday. Did you have to pull out your summer clothes? You know what? Honestly, I've been so busy today not packing, and I totally should have been packing today, so I know I'm going to be up late doing that tonight. Um, I don't know what the weather's going to be like in Austin. I mean, it is the winter time down there, so I'm presuming it'll be in the oh what lower 70s. Maybe you might want to bring a sweater. Yeah, yeah. It's actually not supposed to be particularly warm in Austin uh, when we're there. Okay. Aww. Yeah, I was planning on bringing you know some jeans and some. It's long currently shirts. 37 degrees in in Austin. No a kidding. A low tonight of uh, 29. A high tomorrow of 46. Wow. It might snow when you guys are there. It's going to rain. So anyway, I'm excited about it. Uh, TexasBitcoinConference.com is where you can go. You can still, I believe, get tickets through tomorrow. Yes. Yep. Uh, so TexasBitcoinConference.com. It's not too late to snag your tickets online. If you wait too long, then you will have to go and get them at the door. And they will be available at the door. You're just going to pay more. And 25 so, bucks more, yep. Yeah, go to TexasBitcoinConference.com. Get your tickets loaded up. We will look forward to seeing you there. I was talking with Ernie Hancock today. He's planning on being in attendance, doing his show live. Angel Clark will be there uh, doing her show live. So we're gonna have the we're gonna have the bulk of the Liberty Radio Network uh, daytime and nighttime hosts in It'll attendance be fun. at this thing, and it's great. Uh, so that is going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, TexasBitcoinConference.com. We'll uh, we'll see you there. So we've still got a full show here in front of you tonight, and an update actually on a story that we talked about a few weeks back here on Free Talk Live. About the cupcake girl. Now, I don't think, I mean, I guess, I'm guessing either of you were not on the show on the night in question for the uh, the cupcake girl story? There there was a girl with a cupcake having to do with the TSA. No, this okay. one was an 11-year-old girl who was, she, for two years, had been running her own cupcake-making business. And it's, you know, like, there was this wonderful story that, of course, the news media in the area in which she lives... Uh, had performed on her. Troy, Illinois is the place where she lives. And so, of course, this human interest feature story, kind of the... Heartwarming. Right. The front page of one of the back sections of the newspaper on a Sunday. One of those kinds of stories like, oh, isn't this cute? Look at this little girl. She's running her own business. How entrepreneurial, how adorable. And it was. It's it's a great story uh, that she'd been doing cupcake making, and she, you know, she saw. I think she saw some sort of uh, Food Channel show, and it was about making cupcakes, and that just really, you know, set Good her off. Good for her. Yep. And she she got you know she got in a mixer, and she got started, and uh, was selling all kinds of unique kind of custom cupcakes to companies, and like making some for charity and and everything. I think that people generally think of entrepreneurship as like they imagine like a dude in a business business suit Mm. but i think that children sort of embody the kind of uh courage and uh i guess i say i should say enthusiasm that it requires to be an entrepreneur because when i was a little kid i used to think of all kinds of ideas for stuff i thought people would want to buy and I'm sure if I'd pursued a lot of them, they might have been failures. But the fact that you're a cute little kid starting up it something, helps. it definitely helps. Yeah, it's it's a great marketing uh, edge that you have over the rest of them. But uh, you know, and, and and this is this just goes to show the um, the leveling of the playing field that uh, you know being able to open your own business does. This little girl is otherwise going to do what every other young person does, which is go out and get a job, work for some crappy wage, sure. uh, you know, get into debt slavery for uh, going to college and all these things that uh, that everybody else does, where she was running a business that was competing with adults for their, you know, for, for people's empty calorie dollar, um, and, and, and she was winning. She was doing great. And it's awesome because the adults she was competing with 
don't look very good by like, going after her or saying like her cupcakes aren't as good. So she does yeah. have that competitive edge in that too. Right, and ca- this is, this shows how capitalism is truly an equalizing force because. Since she can go out, what people call capitalism is what we have today, and what we have today shut this little girl down. So I understand that's what we call crony capitalism, because people in power, she wasn't in power, she was shut down, she's not following the rules. Oh my goodness, she's not making these cakes in a proper commercial bakery, you don't have the right venting systems, you don't have the, oh my goodness, did somebody help you with that? Were they they insured? Were they getting paid uh, $10.10 an hour? Dear God, we could we could lose the whole nation to anarchy if we let this little girl make cupcakes <laughs> for people. Yep, uh, that's pretty much what it came down to. So this, you know, again, there was the news story that came out about her and her cupcake business, which had again been going fine for two whole years. Then all of a sudden, the health department of Troy, Illinois, decided they were going to swoop in and save the town of Troy from this unlicensed, unpermitted, and unregulated operation. And they shut her down. She was forced to stop selling cupcakes under the threat of violence by the people calling themselves the state. Of course, they only have her best interests in mind and the best interests of the cupcake-consuming population of Troy, Illinois. And uh, so here's the news. Of course, they're getting fewer cupcakes now. Here is the news from BND.com. It's uh, serving southwestern Illinois, some sort of uh, newspaper. Troy, Chloe Sterling just wanted to make cupcakes. Now she'll get her chance to do it legally. As a cheering crowd of uh, family, friends, and students looked on Thursday morning, Chloe learned that a commercial kitchen would be built for her so she could continue her hay cupcake business at home. Jason Spengler, owner of Spengler Plumbing and Cooling in O'Fallon, surprised the family at Triad Middle School with the news, saying that with the help of donations, his company will lead the charge to build the Troy 11-year-old a commercial, a commercial kitchen. An addition to the family home is expected to underway this spring and can be completed by the end of May. Spengler said everyone at Spengler considers Chloe part of our family. Her dad, Ched, has worked as one of our top plumbers for the past seven years, and we've enjoyed many of Chloe's cupcake creations. So when we heard she was put out of business, we stepped into high gear to get her back baking again. That is wonderful. It is It's wonderful. great when businesses will step up and use this as an opportunity to get a little more um you know, press for themselves. This guy, this guy's getting a news story. It's great press. For you him, can't sure. buy this kind of news. Well, apparently, you can with the with the cost of a commercial kitchen right. add-on for a home. But I mean, it's expensive news. But nonetheless, he's got it, and it's it's good stuff. But it just goes to show what it takes to. You know, I mean, you got to appease the state. Nobody says, "Look at these shiftless bureaucrats that right. have done nothing but make people's lives more miserable and somehow we're bowing down and scraping and nobody even says anything about it nobody runs over to the, the, the you know what is this the health department uh presumably yeah, yeah the health department and says hey why don't you people get real jobs and actually help people do things i don't feel healthier i feel like you've stolen cupcakes from me i feel like you put a poor little girl who could have learned entrepreneurship out of business right you know, she was fine making cupcakes in her home kitchen with her, you know, she had a decent mixer that her grandparents had purchased for her, actually, yeah. for this purpose, I think, for a birthday present or a Christmas present. But she had been doing just fine. Nobody had ever complained. There was never any kind of incident that uh, that had occurred with an unhealthy cupcake or, you know, a, a poisoned cupcake or something like that or a rotting cupcake. Uh, it was just the state just got involved as soon as they found out about the existence of her business. Well, it's and like so. It, it's also like that. You know, they, the state doesn't care about what kind of food it is. If it's a prepared food, then then you know it all has to be. You know, they have all their inspections or whatever. This isn't soft cheese. It, it's not even on the same level of uh, playing field of some things that actually can people make people sick. I'm just glad that her entrepreneurial spirit wasn't crushed. That someone came in and kind of came to her rescue in this because otherwise you know how would she live the rest of her life thinking everything's going to get shut down we'll come back uh because i've got a little few more thoughts on this here and would love to hear from you especially if you were a young entrepreneur did you make something work some sort of uh, unusual business tell us about it you can take control as well it's free talk live the following is an important free offer for smokers only the makers of victor the world's most advanced e-cigarette have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. 
To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the re-emergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. I've been told no in many way? different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you to go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring signs into the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is you ain't going to make it. Wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Why are you running from Because you're scared of property. What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at victimlesscrimespree.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Bring up whatever you want right here, toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We're talking about the Cupcake Girl. There's an update in her situation. She's 11 years old. She's been doing a cupcake business for a couple of years up until recently when she was put out of business because of the government, the health department. In, apparently, it's called the Madison County uh, Health Department, not the Troy Health Department. But anyway, it's in Illinois. They went after her because the newspaper reported on her. And of course, this is just the way things tend to happen is if there's a business out there that's doing well and it's kind of a unique business. In this case, it's unique because it's a business run by an 11-year-old. 
uh, that uh, you know the government targets those people. It's it's not uncommon for this to happen. Like, oh, whoa, who is who is this person? Right. They, it's, and by the way, see these, the ad, they see the 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 article and then they just immediately jump into trying to destroy that person. These inspectors, these people that are tasked with uh, with making sure that uh, we're all safe and that stuff. Well, they never find these people on their own. The reporters have to go and yeah. report on them, <laughs> and then they run in and they get their vig. But you'd think that part of the money that they collect should be actually for investigation, but really that's not the way it works. Oh, well, we read the newspaper. That's not yeah. investigation. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's just reading the newspaper. Well, seriously, who's reading the newspaper and saying, like, can you imagine being one of these officers that's part of the, they do like a bust, or how do they send her mean letters in the mail um, or what? They probably sent her a letter would be my guess. I Or maybe they visited. Who knows? I mean, can sure. you imagine being the wife of any... Any bureaucrat who has any part in this and just like of harassing a little yeah, girl. Yeah, I would be like, this yeah. is terrible. Some Imagine of these if it was our kid. Some of these bureaucrats are moms with kids. That's true. Right. They, they 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 have to justify their position. Look, the fact is, is I could justify this. Think about it for a second. Um, if you, for instance, a kid has a lemonade stand, he decides to put it out on Main Street. Could be peeing in that lemonade. Right next door to a comp a business that pays bricks and mortar money. Yeah. And has all the licenses and everything. This Who's kid's not serve safe certified. We also, gotta put a stop to this. Also serves lemonade. Everybody's gonna be buying from the kid. It's gonna be like that's my business. I paid for this. I paid for that sidewalk. I paid for that license. I right. paid for all these things. This is simply an enforcement mechanism for people who have um, you know maybe sort of long term businesses. You know that's what that's what it is. Everybody's got to get in line as but far as they're concerned. At the same time, these those kind of issues can be resolved just by people like it's not worth it a lot of times to invest your resources in trying to shut down your competition i mean that's what it's so not what happened in this case uh that that we know of well I mean, come we, on we don't know we, if the existing cupcake store in town decided to target this little we, don't, girl. Know we that, don't know that but we but also let's be you know let's be clear we don't even there, know if troy has a cupcake store the people that have the, the, there's you know cupcakes just a kind of pastry it's yeah. just a sweet thing that people put in their face okay, okay. the fact is that there's, all these companies that couldn't get their cup cupcakes were buying something else to keep the employees satiated during their morning meeting or whatever what so mm -hmm. i don't know if it was donuts i don't know if it was you know maybe it was celery sticks for all i know i doubt it very seriously but yeah, they were something was fulfilling the caloric, uh, empty calorie need of these people. So uh, there's a little bit more to the story. I want to continue with that here in a moment. But if you've been thinking about getting bitcoins, I, I can give you the solution. It's so easy through cashintocoins.com. They make it easy, safe, fast, legal, and inexpensive. Plus, t customer service is their top priority. Just go to cashintocoins.com, select your option, your preference for getting your cash to them, and they will get your bitcoins to you in return. Cashintocoins.com. As we go uh, back to the story here from bnd.com, figured out what it stands for. The Belleville News Democrat. They are reporting about this 11-year-old girl. She is, uh, let's see, Chloe. Chloe is her name, Chloe Sterling. And she had this dream of uh, making cupcakes for people. And for two years, she lived her dream until the government health department came in and shattered them. Now there's uh, a chance that it's going to work out for her because of Spengler Plumbing. Spengler Plumbing and Cooling, which actually employs Chloe's father and has for several years, they decided to step in here and build for her a commercial kitchen in an addition on her family home. So we don't know what the specifications are of this commercial kitchen, um, but presumably it will be up to whatever the government specs are concerned. So she'll be able to, in theory, at that point, legally operate this uh, cupcake making business. I but think that's I think that that's great that they came to help this girl and spend all this money on this big kitchen that I guess is meets all the standards for the state. But I wonder about. Being this little girl, I mean, I'm just assuming that she's like so excited and really wants this. Mm -hmm. But can you think of how your interests change so much when you're a kid? And, you know, your parents are willing to help you out a little bit, but they're not going to like remortgage their house to help you right. with your little your little plan to make money because you might decide you want to do something else the very next day. Well, she did it do it for two years, which I think is... That does uh, show some commitment. Right, yeah. and she had actually had an agreement, if I'm recalling correctly, from the story that we talked about originally on the show, 
Uh, and uh, the two of you weren't here for that, but uh, she had had an agreement with her mom that anything that she saves as far as what she's making from the cupcake business, what she saves, sh- her mom's going to match that on a like the purpose of buying a car when she turns 16. So wow. she had really like long term business strategy and kind of plans uh, involved here. But I think one of the sad parts of this story is that the lesson here isn't. Hey, kids, you can do whatever you want in life and you can create your own business and, you know, make your living in the way that you want. No, no. The lesson is that you can do those things so long as you have a licensed contracted plumber who's willing to step up or, you know, somebody else who's in with the state who's willing to step in and come to your rescue. As long as you've managed to uh, finagle yourself into the good old boys network, then you can have your kitchen and you can uh, resume operation of your business. This isn't, a, while it appears to be a happy ending for the girl in this particular case, it's not anything that's good for freedom. Freedom hasn't won the day in this particular case. It's just the little girls that are going to presumably be allowed to operate the business. But remember, there may be other hoops now. Because with the government, the hoops don't end at the first hoop. There's always another one that they're going to put up for you. If it doesn't exist yet, they'll come up with it. So, okay, she's going to get her government-approved kitchen from this nice plumber who's going to provide that for her. That's great. That's great. Now, are they going to also require that she begin paying uh, Illinois state income tax on right. her government, yeah. you know, on her take? All these things. Yeah. See, I disagree, though, that it's a loss for freedom because this is an example of social cooperation. In that, you know, you have this other business that, you know, does have a licensed business. Yeah. Well, they Mm -hmm. have family ties to this girl and they stepped in and helped her, um, even though the state came after her. So it kind of shows that we can overcome, you know, as long as you have your government license, you can overcome. What would be the big loss for freedom is if this little girl just never pursued anything again related to her dreams well, because it, she got shut down right it, it's a triumph for human spirit but it's not uh, a triumph for liberty well that's so, what liberty is to me well I, I, liberty and the human spirit are, are related but let me let me if ask you've got you this to for a second. the state in order to get something then so, it's not a win for freedom well, let's use a reductum ad certum here to to try to figure this out um a uh, an upset taskmaster beats a what he considers to be an unruly slave uh, within an inch of his life one of the other slaves comes along and rubs salve on his back so that he can, um, you know, heal more quickly mm. and get back to work. Win for freedom? Well, the part where he was enslaved and beaten is definitely not freedom, but people helping each other, that is. It's good, but it's not freedom. But the slave's no more free. He's right. just got the some salve on his back. The other guy didn't say, hey, let's, let's rise up or, or refuse to work I or any of those I think he's more things. free with a salve on his back. We'll come back with uh, more in moments. You can share your thoughts on Free Talk Live. Did you know that organic sulfur can cleanse and defend your body against the poisons we're exposed to each day? Organic sulfur crystals from sulfurdefense.com help by forcing oxygen and nutrition into your cells while eliminating heavy metals, contaminants, and damaging radiation. Defend yourself and family from toxic assault with one of the most critical and essential minerals available today. Order online at sulfurdefense.com. That's sulfurdefense.com. Or call 800-593-6273. Virtually anyone can hack your cell phone and track your calls, your texts, your emails, your every movement, but only if they can detect a signal. Stay one step ahead of hackers and Big Brother with a block at Pocket, a custom-made pocket infused with pure silver that creates a complete Faraday enclosure for your cell phone. For free shipping to the lower 48, visit BlockItPocket.com or call 888-315-9618, BlockItPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. If you're looking for work, there's a piece of paper more important than your resume. It's the cover letter attached if you're snail mailing or the email to which you attach your resume. Make it four short paragraphs. Paragraph one, say that you're applying for work. The person you're sending to gets a ton of mail about all sorts of things. If you have a password, that's your first sentence. 
Tom Nelson tells me you and I should meet. Paragraph 2, what you do and how that relates to the opening. Be as specific as possible. Paragraph 3, why you want this particular job. I'm originally from Boston, so I know the market well. I have family and friends in the area, so this would be a homecoming for me. Paragraph 4, unless the job posting stipulates no calls, and I will call you to follow up. Thank you in advance for your time. From survivalspeech.com, I'm Holland Cook. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live. There's going to be no food by February. Oh, that seems a little extreme. I find that hard to believe. Well, watch it happen. Hope you find Christ. Oh, good luck, buddy. Thanks. What really turned me away from religion was the fact that most of them are so intolerant and nasty. What do you mean? Your life will suck unless you find Jesus. Well, I had Jesus a long time ago, and he didn't really do anything for me, so I got away from that. Right, and I can tell you that uh, if you want to have if you want to have that attitude with people, yeah. like, Good well, you better con- find Christ, or you're going to burn in hell. Yeah. Then uh, you know. <laughs> Good luck converting people. Yeah, I really want to hang out with people like you, there, Keith. <laughs> I really want to hang out with people like you. So I'm sorry to those good Christians out there listening that that aren't like Keith. But it's the it's the loud mouse like Keith that uh, that do real damage to your religion and, and how people feel about it. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from seven to ten Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.fm. Help get LRN.fm into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. <laughs> Free Talk Live, take control, toll free, 855-450 free. We're talking about the latest on the Cupcake Girl saga. Her business was shut down after two years of successful operation selling cupcakes. She's 11 years old. and the, Which means she started when she was nine, right? That's right. And the government agents decided that this was a danger to the public health, even though no one had ever complained, no one had ever gotten sick. She just got some press, and so the government zeroed in on, on her and took her out. Uh, we'll give you the latest on that situation. Take your calls at 855-450 free. But, you know, she's a young entrepreneur and entrepreneurs are really important here in America and around the world. It's a great thing to be able to create your own business. And if you're going to create your own business, you should also have your own website. Squarespace.com can help you with that. If you are the entrepreneurial type, you like to do things yourself, Squarespace.com is perfect. It's a great solution for those of you who want to just take care of business. Get it done. Don't have to mess around with hiring some sort of professional web developer to go and just get a website right now at squarespace.com. They make it easy. And it looks beautiful as well. There's all kinds of templates that they have that you can just plug content right into, whether it's a blog site that you want or a portfolio maybe for some of your artwork, an e-commerce site. Squarespace has various templates for you. You just go in. They're graphically pleasing. They're 21st century. They're beautiful. Uh, they're very now. And you can go to squarespace.com to sign up for their free account. And you can start right now, tonight, have your website up tonight. 
at squarespace.com. Now, there is a discount code that you'll want to remember. It's FTL and the number 3. That's FTL3, and that'll get you 10% off of squarespace.com, their official hosting service when you're ready to officially get started with Squarespace. But you can do their free uh, free trial account, and that'll pretty much let you build the uh, build the website. And you'll know what it looks like. Tool around with all of their uh, their, you know, their easy to use tools is drag and drop. You just drag content right in from your desktop. You can easily rearrange the elements of content within the page. You don't need to be some sort of web expert or graphic design pro to do this stuff. To make a beautiful website that works, you can do it in just moments. And it's connected. You can easily link up with Facebook and Twitter. And there's a responsive design aspect, which means if you're viewing it on your smartphone, it'll look right for the smartphone. It'll look different if you're looking on a like a full-size laptop or a desktop computer. So, so much to tell you about it. You're just going to go and have to check it out for yourself. 99.99% uptime according to webhostingstuff.com. Go check out squarespace.com. Get started. Use discount code FTL3. That's FTL and the number 3 to save 10% this month at squarespace.com. So, our toll-free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. Aaron is in Utah. You're on Free Talk Live with Ian, Allie, and Mark. Hey, Aaron. Hey, guys. Hey. Um, calling in on the cupcake saga, I wanted to give is... you the bureaucratic uh, bureaucratic ex- perspective. Oh, please. That's why I think, why they think, uh, or why they're attacking or going after it. And this is just my thesis. I am a bureaucrat. I ta- call- called in one other time with you, and I work for a municipal government. But what I've noticed as a libertarian working within the system, is I see that um, a lot of times government doesn't want to be perceived as unequal, or they don't want to be caught in situations in which somebody could point out that government is treating one person one way and another person another. Right. Yeah, if we just let this, in, if we let this little girl operate her own cupcake business, we'll have to let everybody operate their own cupcake business without it, asking permission. Exactly. Exactly, and that's the reality. This is not this is not going after them because they want more revenue. It's not going after them because they want to see a little girl or bad press or anything like that. What this is is you have a story that comes out, and a bureaucrat gets very scared that their boss might see that this particular commerce person, this commerce entity, is not going through the same hoops that everybody else is and would fear for their job or losing their job if they were not treating them according to the rules. Well, so uh, that, hold on. So, I mean, if I'm yeah. a bureaucrat, um, I'm not responsible for reading the newspaper from my jobs, from my boss's point of view. So if I was right. truly, if that was my concern, as you pointed out, then I'd just be like, well, I'm going to wait until the boss tells me to go after the little girl. I mean, for whatever reason, I think that they may have an overdeveloped sense of fairness or, or whatever. I, I, I'm willing to go with the fair explanation. I'm not willing to go with the scared explanation because, you know, I don't have any responsibility. To, oh, I guess I didn't see that story. Hmm. Must have skipped it over. To no, 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 no. You're missing the point. You're missing yeah. the point. It's not. That's just one of the motivating factors is fear for some. For well, others, it could be just, oh, look, there's another one. We need to go after those people because that that that's that needs to happen. Maybe that's part how of the, your part of the job. municipality believes, and maybe that is common. But I feel like it's it's even more common to hear like every town you go to, people who live there know who the favorite businesses are. It's the, you know they don't do a very good job at making people believe that they're all all the businesses are being treated equally because you know. Local business, local governments can be very corrupt, and uh, you know the corruption seems to become uh, more wide. The effects of the corruption are greater when the when it's a bigger government, like the federal government. Every time they make a rule, affects way more people. But local governments are operating under the same kind of guidelines as any other government, which is that you know they help their friends out. So I think that that's just. The reality of it, and most people realize that that's what happens. I don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. I think I, I concede that point as well. There's certain some certainty, some level that that happens. But the problem I see as well is uh, these small entities, these towns and things, can be fined by either the state or the feds if they're not keeping up their part of the regulation. And so I think that there's there is some some. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I think people try to follow the codes as established as much as possible. I know many times with these guys that sell roses, uh, like the day of Valentine's Day yeah. on the side of the street, I know a lot of them that don't like 
you know, don't go through the whole rigmarole of getting a business license and make sure temporary use permit, et cetera, mm-hmm. all these other things. And, you know, I, it's, it's very easy to see them out in force right after 5 p.m. when the municipal government's closed because they know they're not going to get caught. <laughs> uh-huh. But during the day, they could be caught. Right. And, and I, I think part of this is, too, is our overreaction and our inability as citizens to just go next door to our neighbor. If, our, if their dog is barking and bugging you, just go knock, do, knock on the door and say, hey, by the way, it's like 12 and your, your dog's barking. Instead of calling up code enforcement or calling up animal control, and saying and filing a complaint against somebody. Oh, I totally so agree. To I think out. that that's a much I more mean, neighborly thing to do. I think the least neighborly thing you could ever do to somebody would be to call the state on them. Uh, I totally agree exactly. with that. But in this case, I, it wasn't a complaint of an individual that uh, that went after that we the girl. Of. It was just You're the right. fact it's that a, she ended up in the article. news article. Yeah. Yeah, and so I'm just saying. Well, however, it makes it to the state or the or the bureaucrats. Eventually, they will act on that news. And I think in part of it is fear. I know that I know it doesn't explain all of it, but fear is that, hey, you knew about this. You saw this. This was front page. This was front radio. This is front everything. And you didn't do anything about it. Well, you'll have several other businesses that were denied licenses for whatever reason or don't have commercial kitchens. And they will go ahead and they will call up the state and say, hey, did you see that? Why haven't you gone after these cupcake guys? Oh, there's a huge and, and problem think, with slave-on-slave slave violence well, where people who have exactly. been abused by the state are the most likely people to snitch out someone else who's operating as a free uh, individual who's not begging permission to run a business. It's usually the people who have begged. So, for instance, if you were to put up a radio station you know, and you didn't ask permission from the FCC first, then it's usually the FCC-licensed radio stations who will find you and report right. you. Can, um, can you relate in any right. way to the other cupcake business, you know, that's in competition with this girl? Maybe they've lost a lot of sales and they say it's because this little girl is starting her own cupcake business. Can you relate to them in the sense that they might feel a little bit like they got gypped in the situation where they did spend a lot of resources and energy and probably stress trying to get their licenses and they're probably upset that, oh, this girl's getting special sure treatment. Are. And do you think that that's leg- legitimate? I mean, isn't it no, kind of— No, it's, it's like, you know— Absolutely. Go back to this. Absolutely, right? You make the best point of them all, and that's why we're all talking on this radio show, and that's why we love this show they so shouldn't much. Ta- they shouldn't tax liberty. or make anyone do this, but if right. they are going to make some people do it, those people are punished. If they're not g- going to let some people get away with it, they're favored. Thanks, Aaron, for the call well, tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. 855-450-FREE. You can take control of the airwaves. Bring up whatever you want here in moments. We'll continue Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com Hey everyone, have you heard about the no-no hair removal device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional quality results, here's our favorite host Cheryl for no-no hair removal. Thanks. Hey gals, I love talking about my no-no. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Got unwanted facial hair? No-no hair has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors. So it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the no-no, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card. And you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible no-no hair completely risk-free. Call 1-800-953-6062. That's 800-953-6062. 800-953-6062. 
Uh, excuse me, is this where I get a license to start a new business? I wouldn't be hasty. You have to get a hmm? license to go out of business, too, you know. Oh, well, look, I've invented this little anti-gravity machine, see? Oh, is that why you're walking two inches above the floor? <laughs> oh, yes, it's it's very comfortable. It saves on shoe leather. Yeah, well, you have to fill out these forms and report to the Human Services Department of Manpower Orientation and register with the Fair Employment Practice Commission, just the Wage and Hour Division of the Employment Standards Administration, the State Sales and Income Tax Division, the Internal Revenue Service, look, and the I Social Security Administration of the Department of Health, Education, and Wealth. Fair, and of course, OSHA. OSHA? I thought that was a little town of Wisconsin. You'll find out. Say, floating around like that could be dangerous. Have you checked with the Consumer Product Safety Commission? Well, not yet. Come you to see, think of it, you actually are flying, aren't you? Look, you need to go over to the Federal Aviation Administration and the Transportation... It's very hard to get anything done these days if you're in business, but Free Enterprise built this country. Think what could happen if we don't keep it free. A public service of this station and the Center for the Defense of Free Enterprise, Bellevue, Washington. We just can't have people floating about unregulated, you know. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com this is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live, and you can take control toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And you can join us online. Just drop by freetalklive.com. We've got a website. It's got a webcam. You can go watch, listen, and interact with other Free Talk Live listeners our chat room is built into the same page as the cam. You go to cam.freetalklive.com. You can see that and interact there. That's cam.freetalklive.com. We're talking about uh, this Cupcake Girl, the latest on the Cupcake Girl situation out of Troy, Illinois, where a young lady, 11 years old, is going to be back in business, or at least that's the, what the article here from bnd.com, that is the Belleville News Democrat, would like to have you believe. There's a plumber who's come to her rescue after she was targeted by the, the state, uh, in this case actually Madison County Health Department, targeted her and took her out and said, you are not allowed to continue baking and selling cupcakes. You're not allowed to bake and give away cupcakes. You are shut down. And they destroyed this little girl's dreams. And thankfully now, a local company has stepped up to provide her with a commercial kitchen that will be added on to their, uh, her parents' home. See, now you say thankfully, but before, you were bothered by this because she's going along it. with the state. Well, no, it's not her It's not her fault. She just wants to make cupcakes. So it's I'm thankful to this company for coming along and helping the little girl. But it's not some sort of win for freedom, as you had suggested that it was earlier, Allie. Because as you had suggested. Well, because the process... freedom has not won. There is no more freedom in Troy, Illinois today than there was previously. I'm gonna, I'm, there are times when people have to come together in these situations where freedom has been crushed. You know, I, I just feel like the fact that it took... Uh, voluntary means to get this girl back in business means that it is a win for freedom, even though she is doing all the other businesses we're willing to do um, to get their licenses. I th I just think that it's cool that another business came up and helped her out. That is cool, and I will agree with you there, and they should be commended for that. They're certainly getting some great press out of the deal, and, uh, and that's good, and there are all kinds of motivations there, and that's all fine. Uh, but there's no more freedom in Troy, Illinois. You can't go and start your own cupcake business or your own whatever business. You can't do anything without asking some government bureaucrat's permission. So there's nothing to celebrate about 
another company going ahead and taking care of asking all the permission well, for this. When you say girl. there's nothing to celebrate, there's this, the triumph of human spirit here. That there's the you know the you know people doing good things for. They're each doing other. it in spite of the existence yes. of the government, well, and I agree the, with that. Well, but you're suggesting there's no when, more freedom. When you say that there's nothing to celebrate, you suggest that one should only celebrate human freedom, and that is not the case. Um, you, one should celebrate all kinds of wonderful things happening. You should celebrate when good things happen. Yeah, but, but I, do, I wouldn't I, want to I celebrate getting a license from the government. Then you're celebrating being obedient. Sometimes that license is the difference between working for somebody else and working for mm -hmm. yourself. So it's worth a celebration. You're still working for the man when you're paying I the state. I don't disagree with you, Ian, but to say that you shouldn't celebrate it makes you sound like a braying jackhole. Well, I didn't say you shouldn't celebrate yes, the whole thing. Yes, you did. Thing. You said, I said there's nothing to celebrate here. Do you want to get the audio clip? There is nothing to celebrate here is yes, what you said. Yes, about the process of being obedient. There's nothing to celebrate there. It's great news that she's got her kitchen. whoopie do. As one of the commenters points out here on the story at the very end on uh, BND.com, probably going to need a zoning variance. <laughs> probably. Because that's my question is what's going to come next what it will never be never stops what what will be the next hoop that the government of troy illinois is going to put up in front of this little girl she's going to get so excited to think she's going to be able to start doing her business again and then it's going to be something else oh we're sorry sweetie did you think you could start your little business up again well look you're going to have to come to the zoning board now and fill out one of these zoning variance application forms don't forget to file the one thousand dollar zoning variance application fee which we could totally deny if we decide we don't want to uh do the zoning variance we'll just go ahead and keep the fee now look i don't know what the fee is or if there is a fee in troy illinois but there could very well be it is it's illinois not, i it feel is, like that place is, is pretty illinois. crazy with it fees and the zoning and the government. So let me give you a little more from the story here. Uh, there's, uh, again, a story from uh, BND.com, local newspaper in the area. The announcement about this kitchen, this commercial kitchen that is to be built by a plumbing company for which Chloe's father works, again, Chloe, the 11-year-old girl who's running a cupcake manufacturing business, came after a showing in the school gym of Chloe's appearance on Rachel Ray. It was taped Monday in New York with her parents, Heather and Shed Sterling. The sixth grader watched the segment with her parents and fellow students on a giant screen TV with cupcakes for everyone. After the viewing, Spengler, this is the owner of the uh, plumbing business, and a crew of Chad's, Chad Sterling's co-workers unveiled an 8 by 4 foot image of a commercial kitchen. They also gave the school a $500 donation in Chloe's name as a way to honor her fellow students who created and sold hundreds of Hey Cupcake t-shirts to show their support. Chloe's cupcake business was shut down by the Madison County Health Department in January because she didn't work out of a certified kitchen and was selling to the public. She'd been making cakes and cupcakes out of her family kitchen for about two years, mostly for friends, relatives, and occasionally selling them through word of mouth. The new kitchen will be filled with new appliances as well. During the taping of Rachel Ray, the family was surprised with a full suite of GE kitchen appliances from Ray and Buddy Velastro of TLC's Cake Boss which was the show that she had originally watched as a young nine-year-old girl that Aww. inspired her to want to become a cupcake manufacturer. So she got some gifts from the person who was on that show, uh, the Cake Boss. Now she'll have a place to put those shiny new appliances. Mr. Spengler of Spengler's Plumbing is continuing to seek donations from suppliers and donors through his website, spenglerco.com. So if you want to help out, with Chloe's business and helping fund the remodel or the uh, the addition of said commercial kitchen, you may do that at SpenglerCo.com. So that's the latest on the story. Uh, everybody's being very, very obedient now and uh, bowing down to the state. And yay! A I think happy ending. I think that sometimes you have to choose your battles. And obviously when the state came and tried to shut the school down, they didn't have you know, whatever it was, she wanted to keep making cupcakes as far as we know. Mm -hmm. And as far as we know, that's what she wanted more than anything else, but it just wasn't worth it to her or her family to fight it. So, I mean, they Nor were going to- was it worth it to build a commercial they kitchen. They were going to back down, right? Yeah. So would that have been a better thing for freedom if they had just backed down and not- opened a licensed kitchen? No, that would have been terrible as well. But uh, essentially, this would not have been possible had it not been for the generous, uh, the generosity of this man who 
you know, it happens to employ her father. It's true. And what ha- and what ended up happening with the story is this little girl gets to keep making cupcakes mm-hmm. and her competition has nothing to be upset about because now she's going by the same rules. And we've got this great story about how terrible the government is at handling human freedom. That much is true. The government is not the good guy in this story at any point. They could have been, but they uh, chose not to be. And well, how would they have, uh, how, how could they have been? They could have looked the other way. Right, well, that's all they really would have been able to do, right. but that wouldn't make them the good good guy in the story. Well, or there would not have been a story. They could have changed their mind, I suppose. Uh, th- at that point, they really ca- they really can't. Um, well, that's right. They can't because then they're the, inconsistent. Right. Well, you know, the, the the gentleman called in. I can't remember what his name was. Uh, called Aaron. In. What is it? Aaron. Aaron called in, and you know, they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. All you can do is the bureaucrat who found this story, assuming it was a bureaucrat that found this story, is ignore it. If somebody called in and made the complaint, you could ignore the complaint. And just say, hey, you know, yeah, whatever. I forgot. Sorry. Well, now there's an interesting link here that I haven't had a chance to look at. I'm again on the comments section here on BND.com where this story is. And I'll link over here on our Facebook and Google Plus and Twitter. You can see it for yourself. But one of the commenters who happens to be named Aaron, uh, Aaron Wright says, before this new story hit, we did a video with some analysis on this topic. In my opinion, the government clearly overstepped its bounds by telling the family that they needed an inspected kitchen because that is absolutely not true. Really? Now, wouldn't that be an interesting detail? Now, look, I haven't watched his link. He provides a YouTube link here that purportedly, you know, spells out his uh, perspective his on this. But it wouldn't surprise me at all if the actual statutes have some sort of exemption for a home-based business. Right. That's a possibility, and you know maybe nobody checked their claims. Yeah, their claim, um, you know, isn't isn't law. It's just a claim against the law. Right. A bureaucrat can come along and tell whatever lie they want to, or give whatever misinformation. The bureaucrat may believe there is a such a restriction. The bureaucrat may be under a mistaken belief and is simply just spouting off misinformation. It may not even be a lie. You know, if you don't know you're giving misinformation, then you're not actually lying. Then you're just passing along misinformation. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so maybe this guy's right, and it turns out that if you actually read the city ordinances, oh, well, looks like she's not in violation after all. Wouldn't that be a story? They just went after her because they're mean. Meanies. Or because they're incompetent. Bullies. In this case. They're both, or maybe both. They're both bullies and incompetent. They don't even know their own rules, which, right. of course, is not... Uh, that's uh, that's typical in a lot of cases for government. They don't know the only, the rules they're uh, tasked with enforcing. So that's the latest on the cupcake story. Of course, you can take control of the airwaves here at 855 450 free. Coming up, Allie's got some news about the e cigarette critics. They are on attack again. We talked uh, last week about how Los Angeles may be having an e cigarette ban soon, but we'll give you the latest on what Allie's got to say here. In a little bit, hour number two is next. This is Free Talk Live. You take control. Come celebrate Bitcoin's race into the future. At the Texas Bitcoin Conference, March 6, 2014, at the Circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas, just before South by Southwest. The conference will be packed with the hottest speakers and key players in the Bitcoin world. This one is not to be missed. Get the details at TexasBitcoinConference.com. Register now with fiat or, of course, Bitcoin. That's TexasBitcoinConference.com. Quantum Vibe. It's year 2523. There are colonies on Venus, Mars, and Mercury. People travel in bubbles, fly at hyperspeed. With brain implants and artificial gravity. A scientific genius and his clever assistant set out on an adventure through the solar system. To find the key to access new frontiers and save liberty. QuantumVibe.com from Big Head Press. Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. 
If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. Radio VR. Good morning and welcome to Radio VR. We're broadcasting live from Washington, D.C. and around the world on voiceofrussia.com. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Today is Monday, March 3rd, 2014. Here's the news. Radio VR News. Another winter storm pounds the East Coast as winter-weary commuters are told to stay home in the nation's capital. This storm means summer walking away empty-handed from supply stores in Philadelphia. Correspondent Julie Walker reports. Mitchell Cohen, who owns Cohen and Company Hardware in Center City, Philadelphia, says he got a big surprise Sunday morning when he showed up to open. Around the corner at 9.30, and there was a 200-foot line to get into my store for salt because they saw me on the local TV station. So he brought in reinforcements. The police, just to make sure everything was okay. After that, it was one bag of salt per customer. This is the year of the ice melt buying. And Cohen says he plans to be open through the storm. I'm Julie Walker. Travel-wise, train service has been cut to areas where snow is in the forecast. Over 2,000 flights have been canceled. At least 100 traffic accidents have been linked to the storm in Arkansas. President Obama meets with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu as peace talks with Palestinians approach a key deadline and nuclear talks with Iran move forward. White House correspondent Mark Smith reports. By next month, the administration hopes to finish a joint blueprint on the key issues to be resolved in any Israeli-Palestinian peace deal. Press Secretary Jay Carney says that could be a big breakthrough. Achieving a framework means that the parties would have agreed to principles that would guide the final status negotiations. Later this month, Obama will also host Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas. Meantime, today's session with Netanyahu will update the Israeli leader on new talks with Iran. Netanyahu's called an interim deal on Iran's nuclear program a historic mistake that could lead to an Iranian bomb. Mark Smith at the White House. President Obama will be in Connecticut Wednesday to continue his push for a higher minimum wage. Correspondent Carlotta Bradley has the details. President Obama will appear at Central Connecticut State University with Democratic Governors Dana Malloy of Connecticut, Deval Patrick of Massachusetts, Peter Shumlin of Vermont, and Rhode Island's Lincoln Chafee. Three of them were on a White House conference call, each saying a higher minimum wage is critical to boosting workers' buying power and strengthening the economy. Shumlin says the governors and Obama are working to pull the country out of the deep recession. Chafee recalled protests by Occupy activists, saying they were persistent and tenacious. And Malloy says increasing the federal minimum wage to $10 an hour will lift the middle class. Carlotta Bradley, Washington. A House committee chairman says the former IRS official at the center of improper targeting of Tea Party groups will testify before his committee this week. Correspondent Jackie Quinn explains. California Republican Congressman Daryl Issa says Wednesday, Lois Lerner, the woman who headed up the IRS division handling tax-exempt status applications, will testify before his committee. Her attorney indicates now that she will testify. He tells Fox News Sunday they've already gathered a lot of information after Lerner invoked her Fifth Amendment right and refused to answer any questions last spring. Who else knew about it? Who else coordinated? And... Candidly, I think the American people want to know that it won't happen again. ISIS says his committee did not offer immunity, and he believes Lerner will answer all questions about targeting conservative groups. Jackie Quinn, Washington. The Walt Disney Company plans to cut funding to the Boy Scouts of America beginning in 2015 because of a policy that still bans gay troop leaders. Correspondent Ross Simpson has more. In a statement, a spokesman for the Boy Scouts says the decision will affect the organization's ability to serve children. Disney does not provide direct funding to the Boy Scouts, but it does donate money to some troops in exchange for volunteer hours that are completed by Disney employees. The program has also provided small grants to local scout troops and PACs. The Boy Scouts lifted a ban on gay youth last year, but a ban on gay adult leaders remains in place. I'm Ross Simpson. Gra- 
Gravity won seven Oscars last night, but as we hear from entertainment editor Michael Weinfeld, another film was the big winner. History was made at the Oscars. And the Oscar goes to 12 Years a Slave. It's the first time a film directed by a black filmmaker won Best Picture. Lupita Nyong'o was named Best Supporting Actress. You have to allow for the impossible to be possible. Kate Blanchett won Best Actress and Matthew McConaughey Best Actor. He says his Oscar will teach his kids that if they do their best, it'll pay off. Later on, you can be rewarded for good work done now. His co-star Jared Leto also won. Michael Weinfeld at the Oscars, Los Angeles. And that's the news for Radio VR in Washington. Captain Actual America is overweight and hopelessly in debt. And the Richie Rich comic strip introduces a new, even gayer character. As if you needed another reason to remain in your isolated and socially degenerative cocoon, this is the Onion Week in Review, Comics Edition. Sources confirmed Tuesday that the comic book and sci-fi expo Comic-Con was once again marred by BullyCon, an increasingly popular event held in the same convention space. Now in its fifth year, BullyCon reportedly drew more than 125,000 tormentors from across the nation, all of whom were bent on beating up and torturing those attending the many comic book, television, and movie panels at Comic-Con. This got started, it was just a couple of friends who wanted to beat the shit out of some Joss Whedon fans, but now there are thousands of us ruining Walking Dead panels, taunting Harry Potter nerds, and really making some video gamers' lives completely miserable. I don't necessarily need to travel to San Diego to slap a copy of Spider-Man out of some pussy's hands, but there's something really special about coming together with people who dig the same sort of cruelty you do. Free Talk Live. Toll free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Coming up, the cheat sheet, the ultimate cheat sheet, they say, for dealing with haters. But also on the way here, uh, Allie's going to tell us the latest on the e-cigarette critics. What are they upset about now? Apparently some new advertising is really upsetting the e-cigarette critics. We'll uh, share that with you. And our toll-free number, again, is 855-450-FREE. There's also Skype. You can Skype in at username lrn.fm. So feel free to connect with us in uh, that way if you prefer. We go to the phones and the fun to start things out here in Hour 2. Mike's on the line in Minnesota. Mike, you're on Free Talk Live. How you doing there? Welcome, sir. Go ahead. I was just wanted to share an experience I had, and this happened about 2005 in the summer, and you have to understand when the federal government started drying up funds for all the little cities and towns, they had to take it upon themselves to figure out ways to generate revenue. And I was traveling through a little city and was stopped by an officer. He came up to my car and he said, let me see your license and registration. And I said, may I ask you why you're stopping me? He said, you don't have a seatbelt on. And I pointed down to it. And what I had did, because my shoulder was sore, is I ran the shoulder strap under my arm, mm -hmm. which made a four-inch difference. And he stepped back, took off his sunglasses, scratched his head. He said, well, that's improper. And I said, well, okay. So he went and wrote out the ticket. And when he brought it back to me and he took off, and as I was reading it, it said no seatbelt at all. Huh. See, I, want, I wonder so I about wanted... the no seatbelt or the click it or ticket states because well, if you have, I, you know, people that put the seatbelt, the part that goes across your body, they put it behind them, mm -hmm. like just totally not in front of them at all. I mean, I guess that would be improper. That would be but improper. Technically, you're wearing your seatbelt. So I wonder, I guess these states might have, they might all say that you have to have the strap going across if for no other reason that a cop can't tell unless he sees that strap on your shoulder. Well, the shoulder belt's there for a reason. I mean, Volvo started that in uh, the late 60s for, for a reason because it works. Yes. Well, I went into the police station and talked to the sergeant. I said, Sergeant, uh, uh, what he had told me was it was improper, yet he wrote no seatbelt at all. And he said, oh, well, don't worry about that. When you go to court, he'll admit you that you had it on, but we don't get credit from the governor's grant if we don't put no seatbelt because they would bring officers in on duty to just write out seatbelt tickets. So I went You're to court. you supposed to get sympathy for this officer when he's writing you tickets? It's like... Pardon? Ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. He's like, well, I well, have to because we won't get funding otherwise. Like you're well, supposed to say, okay, I, okay, well, I guess I'll go to court then. No, that's ridiculous. I, they had a little courtroom set up behind the police station, 
And it amazed me because it was elbow to elbow in there, and any fire uh, marshal would have cited them. <laughs> and while I was waiting, they marched in the local prisoners. All the males were handcuffed, six, eight of them. Uh, no shirts on, which amazed me there again, with no shirts on in a courtroom. And it was like, it was a lady judge. It was like, Monty Hall, let's make a deal. You know, this is what you're charged with. This is how much you owe. How much money do you have? Yep. Well, when it got to my case, I explained to the, I said, Your Honor, I was traveling through the city. And because my shoulder hurt, I put my shoulder strap under my arm. But every sign I said, seen said, click it or ticket ticket and fasten your seatbelt. And I had that done. And she paused a moment and she said, well are you an attorney? And I said, no, Your Honor, I'm not. And she said, did you go to law school? And I said, no, Your Honor, I did not. She said, well, you know what? I don't want to hear a word you got to say then. <laughs> wow. wow. And at that point, at that point, the prosecuting attorney got up and he said, we could interpret the law how we see fit. Mm -hmm. and, and the officer happened to be there. And then he started telling the judge that I was arguing with him. And I said, wait a minute, Your Honor. If I was an officer and someone argued with me, the first thing I would do is write that on the ticket. I said, you look at my ticket, and there's no such thing on there. So she said, well, you pay your fine or go to jail. So it's just, you know, one thing about that's why the scales of justice got a blindfold This was on. the trial that you were attending? It was in court. It was, yes. Well, apparently the scales of the justice has a blindfold on. Um, justice, justice took her blindfold off because she asked you whether or not you were an attorney. A blind blind justice wouldn't care whether you were an attorney or not because it doesn't differentiate right. This is people. why courts are bad plays to try to get freedom. Like a lot of people are like, take it to court. Take everything to court. Well, but you end up going to and court and you feel more enslaved than you yeah. ever did. And I had heard you guys mention, which they do this too, is they reduce it so that you cannot request trial by jury because mm -hmm. the, the people would see what's happening and uh, they just drop the one notch below anything else so they could deny that part. But it just shows you that every wheel, and I'm talking about little towns and cities that had normally six to 10 cops, they would hire 30 to 40 just to give out these tickets. And to be honest with you, I think a turn signal law would have, would have served much better uh, that a seatbelt law, not to say that a seatbelt don't save lives, but at least the turn signal law would definitely help road rage and truly save lives. So, Mike, I'm uh, still a little confused here. You got the ticket. You went, how long was it between when you got the ticket and when you went to the court hearing? I would say it was roughly about one month. About a month. Now, the ticket, did it have the, the court date written on it? Yes. Well, I had to go to the clerk, and the clerk... And I, and I had my nephew with me who was from out of state, and the clerk said, oh, don't worry, you could represent him. Well, when I got to court, the judge said, wrong, I'm the judge, so put out a warrant for his arrest. So I paid his ticket and my ticket, and I just didn't think that was right. So uh, so your nephew wanted you to represent him, but they wouldn't allow you to do that, is what you're saying. Right, and that was after the clerk said no problem. So and I'm curious, just, when did the when did you at any point put in a plea of not guilty, and at what point was that? It never was asked that. All she asked me was, what's your story? And I said, well, Your Honor, I was traveling through the city and uh, was stopped. And the only thing I wanted was the ticket corrected from no seat bill at all to improper, which mm -hmm. that's when that prosecuting attorney said, we can interpret the law is, how we see fit. Is there a different charge for improper? Did you actually read the, the statutes, the state statutes? No, I, I, I did not. I just assumed there would be because mm, okay. uh, when the sergeant told me that – they don't get credit unless there is no seatbelt. Yeah. So, huh? Well, obviously, I don't know how. And this was Minnesota when this all where this all happened. No, no, this was in a, um, actually it was in Indiana. Indiana, a so little city. Every yep. system is different to some extent. There are some there's a lot of similarities, but some things are very very different. So obviously, I don't know how the uh, the system is supposed to work there, but it certainly sounds like you got railroaded. Well, no, uh, I mean what the judge said is true. The judge said something completely true to you. They can interpret, excuse me, the prosecuting attorney, mm -hmm. they can imp uh, interpret this any way they want. That's true. And they do it on a That's regular true. basis yep. all across this country and all around the world. The yep. people who control the, the monopoly justice system, and there aren't too many justice systems that aren't monopolies, the people that control these monopoly justice systems do what the hell they want. They don't give a damn about people who haven't paid, you know, paid their dues to the bar uh, association this or whatever. This sounds like it was an inquest or something like that. 
that, not an actual court hearing. Did they call up a witness oh, against you? Did that person testify? Did to- the officer they that did, was there. They did call the officer. The officer testified. Were you given the opportunity to cross-examine the officer? No, I just made the statement when he told the judge that I had started arguing with him, and I said, Your Honor, I I did not argue. I would write that on a ticket if I was an officer and someone so, gave me a hard time. So they did, they did give you the chance to cross-examine, but you opted not to? No, no they really, she just said, you pay or go to jail. That's when ridiculous. When it's all said and done about, well, that's what I had thought, although, you know, it was, it was just after hearing, and I'm sorry that How I- How long would I you have to go to jail? Weaker, Pardon? Well, if you went to jail in uh, Indiana instead of paying the fine, how long would you have to sit in jail? I'm guessing, you know, three to five days. I'm not, I'm not, they didn't go, I wouldn't let it go that far for one thing. Yeah. But, I, and I'm sorry about these topics because I listen to you while I'm at work and I don't get a chance to call you while I'm at work. No, you don't have to apologize. I think it's, I think it's interesting to hear people's experiences across the country of what this is like for them. It's absolutely outrageous that you weren't given an actual opportunity for even a, even the semblance of a trial. It doesn't sound like there was even the semblance of a trial. It sounds like this was, like you said, they were just running people through, cashing in, yeah. threatening them with jail. Look, pay up or go to jail. It sounds Ching. consistent with what we hear all the time on the show. Yeah. Thank you, Mike. For for sharing uh, your story tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. you Yep, 855-450 free. Although I disagree with you, Allie, and I'd like to continue the discussion here in a moment. You were were kind of downing court as uh, as an option for freedom. All right, so uh, I'd like to get into that when we come back. More Free Talk Live on the way. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn It's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the re-emergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. Calling all makeup lovers. Bare Minerals Foundation just won its ninth Glammy Award for Best Prestige Foundation. And to celebrate, we're offering risk-free trials to all women nationwide. That's right. Every woman who calls right now can get a full-size, risk-free trial of our number one selling foundation. Plus, a free five-piece makeup set. For yours, call 1-800-961-4764. This is an exclusive, radio-only offer you don't want to miss. Bare Minerals Foundation gives you flawlessly beautiful coverage with a no-makeup feel. And it's clinically proven to promote clearer, healthier-looking skin for all skin types. No wonder it's won nine Glammys in a row. And now you can try it for yourself. Call now to find out how you can participate in our nationwide risk-free trial and join the millions who've already tried Bare Minerals Foundation and fallen in love with their skin again. Plus, we'll send you a free five-piece makeup set, our gift to you. Hurry, don't miss this exclusive radio-only offer. 1-800-961-4764. 1-800-961-4764. 
Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Free Speech Me is a free software plugin for Firefox that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. You can register a .bit domain today using the inexpensive cryptocurrency Namecoin. .bit domains are extremely resistant to being shut down or hijacked by governments, corporations, or criminals. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to effortlessly get to your site using your .bit address and our Free Speech Me plugin. Go right now to freespeechme.org. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you want right here toll free at 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online over at freetalklive.com and enjoy the features on our site. We've got listening options, broadband, midband, and narrowband versions of our live streams are all available to you at listen.freetalklive.com. And they are available 24-7, so anytime you want, you can listen into the latest episode of Free Talk Live on our streams. We've also got over 140 great radio stations from coast to coast that air the show at various times throughout the week. Plus, there's our satellite listening options, which include the free-to-air channel, where you get Free Talk Live and all kinds of other great shows from LRN.FM, which include Ali's show. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. Uh, there's also our webcam and the listen lines that allow you to listen from any phone that can dial long distance. So lots of different ways to, for you to get Free Talk Live into your ears. Go to listen.freetalklive.com to learn more. Will new technologies enslave mankind or liberate us? Possibly. It really depends on who has the better ideas. In the book Quantum Vibe, Volume 2, Murphy our favorite mad scientist and his hard-drinking sidekick continue their epic mission to open a vast new frontier for humankind. As they navigate complex political and corporate intrigues on a terraformed Mars and a colonized Vesta, dark forces are plotting to steal, murder, and start an interplanetary war. Whose tech will overcome? Whose ideas will win the day? Quantum Vibe is a popular liberty-themed liberty science fiction adventure webcomic, which updates daily at BigHeadPress.com. By the way, they have lots of comics at BigHeadPress.com. Free. Free. Yeah, well, yes, they are free. Um, and, and many of them are complete stories, whereas uh, Quantum Vibe is a serial that continues to it's go ongoing. on. Ongoing. Yeah. yeah. And the latest volume with 161 full-color pages is available at Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, and direct from the publisher. It's bigheadpress.com. All right. And by the way, if you want to grab it through Amazon, just go to shop.freetalklive.com and you can shop through Amazon that way and Free Talk Live gets a cut of the sales. So that way uh, Big Head Press wins and Free Talk Live wins when you mm -hmm. do that. So again, shop.freetalklive.com. Toll free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. So before we get to the story, Ali, that you wanted to share about the e-cigarettes... Uh, you had made a statement in the last segment that I kind of wanted to, I guess, hear you out a little further, maybe to understand what you were saying. You you. I think you sensed I, that it was directed at you, which it was a little bit. I, I don't want to uh, put words in your mouth, so correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, you basically said that the courts are not a way to achieve any semblance of freedom. Well, Is that right? what I was saying is that people seem very vitriolic about taking things to court, and it doesn't seem like we're really saying... Well, in this case, it would be a good idea, I guess, to take it to court if that's best for the person who is involved. We're saying, like, take it to court just as like a like a like an always in any situation. We should do that because it always will mean that the courts are going to get clogged. And it's almost like we're seeing this. The court system is like this volcano. And if we all jump into it at one time, then maybe it won't <laughs> ruin the city but then you're talking about individuals like being like, I don't know if I want to jump in. It seems kind of hot down there. Mm -hmm. And then they do, and then they get burned. And then we're like, well, it's just it's just too bad more people won't take things to court. Otherwise, that would have worked out well for you. And that's just not how we should think about trying to achieve freedom. Is We shouldn't be throwing people into the volcano. 
I, I, you know, that's a pretty persuasive analogy, I have to say, because you can get burned by uh, taking something to court. There's no doubt about that. Uh, I went to court on a uh, disorderly conduct charge and a resisting arrest charge when I stood in front of a police car. And I was sentenced uh, as, as more harshly than I would have been had I taken the plea deal. And, That's true. And uh, Rich Paul, our friend Rich Paul, he went to court on his selling marijuana charge, and he was sentenced worse than had he taken the plea deal. He could have taken a plea deal and gotten zero days in jail. Instead, he spent— They punished uh, him for not taking a plea, right, plea deal, which right. is, of course, uh, you know, in and of itself a miscarriage of justice. It, it sure is. And so, Allie, I mean, there's, you have every reason in the world to take the plea deal and not go to court. I totally agree with you. It's the sensible thing to do in most, in most cases, and that's what people generally do because it's the easy way out. It's the— uh, it's it, you know it's it's an answer that requires no real effort uh, on your part and no effort on the the part of the state. Well, I don't want to put effort just, in a they losing. They just get convicted. I don't want to put effort into a losing battle, and that's why I think most of the time you're going to lose in court. That that's absolutely true. Well, you're making my argument for me, Ian. Well, no, I'm not because my argument is that if you believe in freedom and you want to see more liberty in your lifetime, then sacrifices may be required. In that but we shouldn't be sacrificing venue. individuals and asking individuals to sacrifice their own well-being for liberty. I can ask anything I want to ask, well, and I, I will ask wrong. anything I want to ask. I think it's bad to do that. Well, um, now hold on. The, the liberty activists here in Keene have had, uh, what is it, five victories out of five now? In the last year, we've ve- vic- done very, very four well victories in court. out of four? Five, actually. I believe it's is it five, five victories. Five out of five. I mean, it's not like anybody's been thrown into the volcano recently. Well, well I mean, now, dude, let's be fair. It's gone we better did have it's an gone attorney worse. for three out of those five that were but very, very only because you've been willing helpful. to stand up and do something about That's it. That's true. The attorney was interested in helping us. It's not. This isn't a warmth rule. of his heart. So, um, Ian gave me some trouble recently. Uh, you know, it's been a year, maybe I don't know, for not taking some parking ticket. I didn't feel like taking the court to court. Oh, you're part of the problem. Oh, yeah, that's right, Ian. I'm hurt. See, that's the kind of thing that but, I hate is like, you right. know, you shouldn't feel guilty about being saying, you but know, you I shouldn't think, feel guilty about doing guilty. it either. You're doing the opposite of what he's doing, Allie. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I think that a lot of people, I hear them talking about some interaction they had with the cops and in their case, they can take it to court and they want to. They're excited about court. Like they're ready. They wish court was that day. And for those people, yeah, take it to court. Or if for some reason, going to court benefits you more than not going to court. Like, you have no choice, you have to go to court. Or if you're trying to avoid getting points on your license, so you want to pl- plead not guilty. Things, situations like that. I support people going to court, but I don't like people going expecting to win and then having their heart broken. Oh, you shouldn't going expect to, jail. to win. You should well, never expect to win when you go to court. I've never suggested anyone expect to win. Um, you're almost guaranteed to lose when you go to court, especially if you don't have an attorney on your side. You're well, you're not going to know if you're... Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Okay. So this is a whole big mess that you people are talking about here. Yeah. You both are on the losing side of the argument, and I can't believe how you can how? do that. What are you talking the about? The fact is that uh, you don't know whether you're going to win or lose when you, you go to court. You can't expect Plus, to win. You're going uh, to get You're going to get your hopes destroyed if you, you expect to win. You're talking about a hundred different types of uh, of going to court here. We're not... We don't. Are we talking about parking tickets? Are we talking about traffic violations? Any are Talking about you're going to lose them all. Are you talking about uh, felonies? No. Almost Ian, every the, time the, the, you're going to lose. Ian, stop talking for just one second. The fact is that if you're if it's a misdemeanor or it's a felony, the in most likelihood somebody's going to take a plea, the first plea out of the gate, because they're ignoramuses. They've never dealt with the court system, and the vast majority of them will do better by waiting off the first uh, the first offer. Mm, and, that's true. And, and yeah. then taking the plea the second time. So that's something besides taking the plea or not taking the plea Mm -hmm. there's something in between which is wait and so that's uh, i mean you this is all just crappy advice you people are talking about here i'm sorry it's the same way it's like just because you can point to people who have been successful in court does not mean that going to court is generally uh good advice if you if it can be avoided and I just see all these people going to court, and when I've gone to court to support people going there, I've just been, like, the whole day, I feel less free than I would have if I hadn't gone to court. Imagine if I was there defending myself in court. That would be so much worse. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's the ProXPN toll-free line. You can share your thoughts on this. Is it a waste to go to court, or is it the right thing to do if you want to see more freedoms to clog the court system? with their nonsense cases. It's Free Talk Live. 
It's no secret that silver is one of the oldest known natural antibiotics, but the mainstream media will never tell we the people this information. Why? Many drug companies and politicians have dangerous alliances that manipulate the way we live by prescribing drugs that only manage disease, keeping us dependent on big pharma. And with Obamacare at our doorstep, we are now forced into a system that many of us do not want any part of. And no man or government has the right to dictate how we as free people choose to take care of our health. The patriots at utopiasilver.com hold this truth dear. Colloidal and ionic silver supplements from utopiasilver.com open the door to a whole new world of natural healing, the body and the mind. Visit utopiasilver.com and discover the safe and effective health benefits of colloidal and ionic silver. Call 888-213-4338. 888-213-4338. And talk to the patriots at utopiasilver.com, a leading source of natural healing using colloidal silver, colloidal gold, minerals, vitamins, and herbs. utopiasilver.com. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. Should you be able to earn an honest living free from senseless government interference? The Institute for Justice thinks so. That's why we've spent years defending hard-working men and women from pointless government regulations. Nationwide, IJ has created opportunity by reducing government power. But there is still more work to be done. Visit our website today at ij.org. Let IJ take care of the government so you can take care of your business. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Shoppers at a Hannaford supermarket could only speculate that the middle-aged woman angrily demanding a price check on a pack of rice pudding was once a carefree youth. I don't care what it says on your screen. You know, this is why people go to the store across the street, because of the way they're treated here. You know, nobody likes it here. Those watching the woman angrily asking for a manager over a $1.20 price difference imagined that the woman was once a fresh-faced college graduate, too spirited and fun-loving to throw a bitter tantrum in front of a room of complete strangers. She was probably once just some freewheeling college kid, you know? Her biggest concern was which one of her friends she was going to hang out with at night and whether they were going to meet at the movies or a bonfire on the beach. Now look at her. You know, I'll bet if you'd have told her 10 or 15 years ago that one day she'd be ripping into a grocery store clerk with a room full of strangers staring at her, she'd have been horrified. It's sad. In other news, a few years in the military would have really straightened out a troubled teen killed in Afghanistan, and a man on the verge of self-realization instead turns to God. This is the Onion News Network. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Take control of the airwaves here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. The Pro XPN toll free line. Join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that you'll find on our website. They include our webcam. You can watch, interact with other listeners, and listen to the show over at cam.freetalklive.com. That is cam.freetalklive.com. Like uh, all the features on our website, it's free. Unlike a lot of those other talk show hosts, they want to get you to pay up. 
before they'll let you watch their webcam. You can do it for free over at cam.freetalklive.com. Also, I'm looking into making some changes with the cam uh, that maybe might get rid of the ads. I don't know. I haven't really looked into how it's all going to work yet. It's one of my things on my to-do list. Uh, but there was some concerns with, I guess, live stream doesn't let the cam go to the mobile app without some hassle. So I'm hoping to make it so we can actually have people watch the cam on their smartphones which some people have asked for. I don't so. think my phone would do that. Yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking my, into it. My phone look, is a little dim-witted. I can't get it on my iPad. It considers it a mobile device. Yeah. So hoping to make it so that it can work with with that, and now that I know that that's a trouble for you, Allie, maybe you can help me troubleshoot it when I make those changes. Sure. So uh, mybtc.cc. Imagine being able to spend your Bitcoins with a credit card through a completely decentralized non-bank system. You swipe your card and Bitcoin is removed from your Bitcoin wallet, making Bitcoin as easy to use as money in the meat space world. This technology would be pretty awesome, right? And it would be worth investing in, right? Well, you can go and check out their Indiegogo campaign right now at mybtc.cc and check out the idea of investing in this Bitcoin-based credit card. Now, My. I'm going to get one of these credit cards. You can, uh, I think it's for 30 bucks in the Indiegogo campaign. Mm -hmm. um, you get a credit card and a year's worth of service. I think it's 10 for the card and, um, you know, or whatever. Uh, you know, there's a lower tier. But I, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it out. MyBTC.cc, and I believe the creator of MyBTC.cc is going to be up at the Texas Bitcoin Conference, so hopefully you'll get a chance to meet him if you're there. And again, it's mybtc.cc. As we continue here, uh, we'll go to the phones and your calls and thoughts. Dave is on the line in Nevada. You're on Free Talk Live on the Amp Lines. Hey, Dave. Dave in Nevada, going once. Dave in Las Vegas, going twice. Oh, you know what? I had to mute it. Sorry about that, Dave. Totally my fault. Go hey. ahead, sir. That's all. You guys always do that to me. I think that's happened in the last couple of times I called it. So. Yeah, usually it's not our fault. Go ahead. <laughs> sure. No, um, I wanted to talk about I actually wrote a post on my Facebook and also the, the Amplifiers Facebook about why I think that Free Talk Live is such an important show. Um, I know it kind of sounds like, you know, I'm kissing up to the shore or something, but I mean, with all, you know, for somebody like me that, you know, really believes in freedom and liberty and you see, you know, all the freedoms that are being taken away, and, I, and of course, I think this is going on for a long time, but it's more and more evident, you know, and all you have is that mainstream media that kind of promotes a government agenda and e either where some of the, you know, like something like MSNBC looks like they're actually taking notes from the government or other mm -hmm. shows that, you know, just have a pro-government agenda. You know, I think a, sh a show like yours really does deserve a lot of praise, and I, I kind of... Uh, listed some some things and not that I, i'm going to read the article but i just wanted to kind of not article but my post whatever uh, i just want to kind of to go through some of those and 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 get some feedback on those so okay thanks the, our tails are the, wagging <laughs> with the praise <laughs> well, the, the first thing is that the nonpartisan uh that you guys are about you know freedom and liberty which which you know i feel as well i don't look at you know, Democrats or Republicans, or because both of them are not for freedom. And you have a lot of shows that are conservative or Republican that say, oh, yeah, we support freedom, but yeah. there's a lot of freedoms they're against, and they want to kind of promote a lot of times a religious kind of agenda and things like that. So, I mean, yeah, you could say, well, some things they are, but, you know, like, like some of those shows they wanted to try in the Boston bombing, they wanted him to be tried as an enemy combatant. You're for freedom, an American citizen. Try him as an as an enemy combatant, but sure. on the same, you know, token. Oh, I'm I'm for freedom. So, I mean, I really love that about the show. That it's just about you know concepts and ideas of freedom. It's not, you know, partisan on one side or the other. It's it's real. You guys promote real freedom. It's true. Um, yeah, it's it's really difficult to sit here and suggest that somehow, uh, you know, I mean, we we've seen in my recent life. Uh, for six years, the Republicans controlled the House, the Senate, and uh, the the White House. And then for two years, the Democrats controlled all three. I mean, we know what it's like. Either one, We know whether these parties are going to provide freedom or not. They had their opportunity. Well, Mark, the Republicans, remember in the uh, the, the first decade of this, this century, they said they cut the government to the bone. Yeah, yeah, that's right. They said that. That's right. After they had uh, grown it from beyond the contract <laughs> of America in the la latter part of the last century. I was going to say, well, it's must a be big an old bone. person. Yeah. So, uh, what else did you want to share, Dave? 
I just have there's there's four things real quick that I just want to go through. Um, the other was the ideas of uh, freedom and liberty on commercial radio. So, you know, you guys have mentioned you're on like 140 plus stations. There's nothing out there that's and I mean I listen online because I don't think you guys are in Vegas, which I hope in the future you are. But I mean, which is fine because I can listen through my car, through my phone, and stuff like that. But I mean, to actually reach that many people and to be on that many stations, you don't you don't hear that. Like I said, you hear some of those that say they're for freedom that are more partisan, but uh, that really doesn't you know doesn't exist. You know, for the most part, you have some podcasts and stuff like that, but nothing where you guys are reaching that many people. Um, No, it's really hard to make it through the radio kind of, um, I don't know, the rat race is the right term, but uh, to get through the corporate masters, the gatekeepers, and actually get a principled message of freedom on the radio. We've we've done it, but it's been a very, very long road. You know, it took uh, it took many, many years of lots of phone calls on my part to get on a bunch of uh, of commercial radio stations. Well, I like it because it's more more people are likely to stumble upon it's true something on the radio. Whereas if you just do a podcast and you're advertising and using word of mouth, then it's going to be a lot of people who are familiar with what you already believe. And so it's just going to be a bunch of back padding. Whereas on this show, it's fun because people call in sometimes and they have they never agree. heard the show yeah. before and they don't agree. This is the difference between what they call push and pull advertising. So Free Talk Live is push advertising for the ideas of liberty. Whereas ALP, your show, uh, what's the website? ALPshow.com. ALP is more like pull advertising for the ideas of liberty. Well, right, because Allie's show is primarily heard online, although because she's on LRN.FM, she's heard on some pirate radio stations from some. coast to coast. Yep. That's cool. But uh, Dave, go ahead with your list. So, thanks. Yeah, and I mean, that, that's great to be on the internet, and it, I'm glad we have more and more internet shows that that represent freedom as well. But I mean, it, to be able to be on all these stations, and like you could, somebody flipping through you know, the channels or something like that, or maybe they listen to a station for something else and you come on. So they're definitely, you, you know, it's a lot easier for these people to hear about it. And I know, you know, basically a lot of these stations, they want that whole left versus right thing, like it's some, you know, fight they're promoting or mm-hmm. a football game. Yeah. And, and they really push that. So it's great that you guys were able to get on that many stations and hopefully more in the future. Um, the, the, the third thing was that you guys are, are real activists. You know, to, to me, it seems like you're more... You know, activists is the number one thing, and the radio show is just a way of promoting your activism. Um, so it, it's great that, you know, you guys are real activists, that you're, you're right in the middle of this stuff. You know, it's not like, a, you know, some political radio host that, you know, maybe they'll go to something for a photo op, but sure. you guys are actually ha- are doing this stuff. And, and like you said, you know, you went to jail for 58 days, um, you know, standing for a police car, and, and that you guys are, are, are really hardcore activists, and, and that's great. And then I think that also encourages other people that they can see, you know, you guys talk about the things you're doing. It could give them maybe ideas to do some similar things, hopefully not go to jail. but And then they could see that, hey, they're making, you know, strides there in New Hampshire. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know you promote the, the Free State Project as well, but, you know, even for people that are in, in other cities that they can see what you guys are doing and then maybe they can you know get ideas to, to stand up as well i totally agree um, you're your fourth one we're going to put you on hold and come back for four out of four okay. here in a moment with dave in vegas and by the way uh you know dave said he didn't think we we're on in vegas he's right we're currently not on in vegas but if we're not on the radio where you live you can always contact your local radio station or stations that happen to be talk radio format and ask the program director real nicely to add Free Talk Live. I happen to know there's at least one station in Vegas that is currently considering us. It's Free Talk Live. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e-cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 
This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Take delivery in spring. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Take control here. Toll free at 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online over at freetalklive.com. And, of course, you can join us online and enjoy all the features that you'll find on the website. You actually get to create the content right there on the front page of the site. How do you do it? Well, you need to have an account at freetalklive.com, and they're free, so it's not a problem. Just get your account and get that set up. You'll also need an account on Reddit, which is also free. So, again, it only takes you a moment. Once you have the two accounts, you just link them together on our site and then you can easily submit content. So if you find something online that you think is interesting or outrageous or fun or whatever, you just submit it, you uh, make a title for it, submit the link, and then it appears on the site. People can vote whether they like or dislike. So you vote it up or vote it down, depending, and then uh, we'll figure out what you think is interesting. So the story, actually, I forgot to mention this earlier tonight when we talked about the cupcake girl and what's going on with her situation. I saw that update. On our website, thanks to Stu Pitt Moran, or Moran, Moran. rather. Stu Pitt Stu Moran. Stu Pitt Moran for uh, submitting that story. So had he not submitted that, 
I would probably not have known about that update. So it's like it's up to our listeners basically to keep us up to date because we don't have any kind of producer or anybody that does any research. Just like whatever we happen to come across during the day when we're doing our thing is kind of what we tend to talk about at night. So that's the purpose of our website is where well, you can bring things to our attention easily. I do try to keep up on the news, Ian. I mean, let's, oh, good for you. Let's that's great. So, uh, and I don't care about what's in the news. <laughs> so, 855, 450 free every now and then I find something I care about, but most of it's pretty much worthless to me. I so, know I have to skip through pages and pages of news to find something interesting. We're going to go back to the phones, but I know, Allie, you had brought some interesting news in tonight about e cigarettes uh, right. being attacked by critics. People hate them. Oh, yeah. Well, some people do. I think they're a cool idea. But let's go back to the phones here real quick. Dave is on the line with us uh, listening in Vegas. And Dave, you were kind of going through a quick list of things that you thought make Free Talk Live very important. And while I am on one hand uncomfortable about constantly being praised uh, like this, on the other hand, you are correct in your assessment. Free Talk Live is unique in its position in the world as the only pro-liberty radio show on over 100 radio stations coast to coast. Our friends on the Freedom Fiends have about a dozen stations. They are kind of uh, picking up speed, and, and they're doing very, very it's well. Awesome. Uh, but, you know, we paved the way for them, too, which happened to help them out quite a bit. So, uh, And that's great. That's what I wanted to see happen. I wanted to see more shows get on national radio with a, a liberty-oriented perspective. But as of today, we are still the, the big boys. We're the only ones with... You know, dozens and dozens of radio stations. And so you you had a fourth point uh, that you wanted to make. So go ahead. Yeah, I, I had one more point, and then I wanted to just sum it up real quick, if that's okay. And also, I know, like, you know, people could call in and say, oh, you guys are great, but I'm actually – you know, breaking down why I, I, I think you guys are, are great. So and apparently why you're giving to the it. Free Talk Live AMP program as well, because you are and on That's the what AMP I was going to get to at the end, too, that, you know, that's definitely, I mean, I think I found you guys a couple months ago. Um, I wish I had found you sooner. And, yeah, it's just a, it's a great show. So the, the fourth one is basically that you guys are a forum for ideas. And I mean that in that, you know, people like me who don't really have, I guess, a forum can call up and share stuff. And I, I called... Uh, a month and a half ago, and I actually talked about where I was arrested for an obstruction of an officer. And I had sent that to a bunch of different stations in Las Vegas, and, you know, maybe five or six, you know, and I had a long email with pictures and everything with bruises all over me, hmm. and they don't care. You know, especially in Vegas, where they don't really care unless you're shot or something. <laughs> yes. but, it's um, not like you're the only guy who's been beaten but, up by the police. What's the news? Right, yeah, and you... You don't really hear about that because, you know, it still goes back to, I think, most of our media is pretty much, you know, controlled. And so, you know, people have a, a forum there, and, and you guys have a show where you encourage that, where you pretty much are talking about something, and, and you'll stop on that and then go to people on the phone. So they, they have a, a forum there to, to share not only, you know, things that have happened to them or, or you know, situations with the police, stuff like that, but also just ideas of freedom, and, and, and they can share those as well, and, and, and that's a, a great thing. Well, Dave, it, so, it, I mean, it cuts really, both ways um, to some extent. I mean, now, if, you, if you've got the idea— the idea that for whatever reason the government's a good solution to problems and you call in to Free Talk Live and, uh, you know, you, you talk about your situation, we'll, we'll certainly listen to the situation, but once you start proposing solutions, you know, then then the questions come out and, oh, really? Well, if I don't want to participate with your program, what are you going to do with me? At which point, it, um, those people feel very much like, well, this isn't an open forum. I didn't get to come on here and suggest all kinds of tyrannical crap without right. people just laying down and accepting it. I also like that... Right, and I heard Sorry. I like that the callers uh, could sorry. call in and and correct us if like if I say something that's just totally wrong. Yep. My facts are backwards. If, I, one, I, if you guys don't catch it, then hey, if if you heard it and it was wrong, and you didn't, and you're listening live, and you didn't call in. Then what do you expect? How am I supposed to know if I'm wrong if you don't let sure. me know? Yeah, and I want to say I, I I've heard that as well. I've heard. Um, somebody call in who I think calls in a bunch of times. I won't say their name. A female that had some, I don't know, had some crazy. I thought they were crazy ideas, but yeah, you you guys totally. It, it's it's good in a way because you'll have somebody like that call in and then kind of do exactly what you said, Mark. It's well, what what would what's your solution to this? And then how would you know? Wouldn't this cause this? And and then it makes people think even more because they're like, well, wait a minute. Because I, I think a lot of people in general they just don't question things. They 
they just, you know, you brought up a certain way and you view society a certain way and you never think about, well, why is that like that? And why do we need this? They just, oh, yeah, we need that. We need this law. We need this law. And really, people should be encouraged to question everything. If you come to the conclusion that it's right, then that's sure. fine. But it's also you need to question it. You know, you can't just just think, look at it one way. You need to think outside the box as well. Well, I mean, everybody, so I, th- th- I think a lot of people grew up with these uh, exhortations to think outside the box and to question authority. I mean, I remember hearing that stuff as a, as a teenager, but you don't ever hear anybody doing it. Like, as you're pointing out on the media, you don't hear any meaningful level of it. Oh, sure, the left will question the right and the right will question the left, yep. but uh, they're not questioning their premises. They're not questioning the, you know, the basic values of what they, you know, they built their understandings of society on. You're not hearing any of that stuff questioned. Uh, and, and that's something that we can do here on Free Talk Live is ask tough questions and, and be asked of, you know, have uh, tough questions asked of us as well and hash it all out on the air. And, and like you said, you know, people come across that on the radio and it's different. It's something that is immediately apparent that it's different if you listen for even a short period of time. And I think that's attractive to people. And apparently it's worked for you, Dave. Anything else you want to share tonight? Um, no, just that, you know, I hope kind of what you said that that you guys do start that trend and, and there are radio stations out there and we can get more um, more media out there that, that express uh, that has the promotes the ideas of, of freedom and, and liberty and you guys are doing a great job and I encourage anybody that everybody that does support freedom and liberty you know if you can afford it you know become an amplifier and help you know promote the ideas of freedom. And thank you, so, Dave, for the call tonight. I appreciate it. Um, the, by the way, you mentioned the Free Talk Live AMP program, and he touched on a new feature, which I haven't even added to the website yet. I need to add that to my list of things to do. But we did just have a reworking of the AMP page at amp.freetalklive.com, so go and check that out. There's a new pitch uh, up there, which I'm very excited about. We're, we're getting back into doing Google AdWords. We're calling the Daryl fundraiser a success, where you helped us raise Hundreds of dollars per month to help pay Daryl uh, to do affiliate relations for us. That's working. Daryl's doing a great job at that, and we've we've made that. We're calling that a success, and now moving to a new project, which I think is exciting, which is to bring people to the ideas of liberty, kind of like what Dave was talking about, who aren't expecting it. People who aren't necessarily looking for liberty-oriented podcasts, because you know we've got that. Free Talk Live is a one of the many liberty-oriented podcasts. But what about people searching for things like talk radio online? There's a lot of people searching for talk radio. They don't know what they want to hear. They just want to hear some talk radio. So they're doing a Google search for it. Well, we can make Free Talk Live appear as one of the advertised options in response to things like you know online talk radio, talk radio, these different kind of keyword phrases that people might search for. And we've started this campaign up already. I've budgeted uh, a few hundred dollars a month towards this, but we'd like to be able to raise more to do yeah. more. So basically, for every amp, since we're getting d- double dollars here, every right. amp is five bucks. Um, you can amp for more, but f- five dollars is what we ask for for amp. Um, so that it gets doubled to ten, right? And it's fifty cents a click. So basically, your that's helping- what I'm currently offering is is fifty cents a click. It's averaging at about thirty something cents per click is what we're paying. Google, of course, would like for me to pay more. So a big question that should be answered is, what is a new listener of Free Talk Live worth? What is someone who has not, let's just presume the person has not really been familiar with the ideas of liberty, what's it worth to bring one person to those ideas? Well, that's for each individual person who's donating to... uh to, to answer, right? Well, right now, that number's set at 50 cents. We can set that number to whatever we want to. Um, well, we're getting responses at 50 cents. I think that that's... And we are getting responses. I've spent that. way more than 50 cents in arguments with status. <laughs> so, yeah, if you want to help us out, you can go to amp.freetalklive.com. Five bucks, that brings 10 people to these ideas, or at least brings them to our website. Hopefully, they'll listen once they get to the site. Uh, and, of course, if you uh, do five dollars, it's actually like doing 10. So, please go to amp.freetalklive.com and help us out with that. Hour number three is on on the way this is free talk live come celebrate bitcoin's race into the future at the texas bitcoin conference march 6 2014 at the circuit of the americas in austin texas just before south by southwest the conference will be packed with the hottest speakers and key players in the bitcoin world this one is not to be missed get the details at texasbitcoinconference.com Register now with fiat or, of course, Bitcoin. That's texasbitcoinconference.com. 
In every age, a technology is created that upends the foundations of society. The wheel, the printing press, the internet. Now, in a world sliding into financial chaos, a new technology is changing the way monetary systems work around the world. It is called Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a new form of money, controlled not by banks, governments, or corporations, but through mutual commerce between free individuals. To learn more, visit WeUseCoins.com. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Monday, March 3rd, 2014. Silver is currently trading at $21.47 per ounce. Gold is worth $1,345 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $588. Antiwar.com reports Secretary of State John Kerry has declared all options are on the table with respect to Russia, though he later dialed the rhetoric back a bit, saying this was focusing on non-military options. Kerry and others in the administration are riled over Russia's deployment of troops into Crimea, and Kerry vowed that Russia is going to lose. The Russian people are going to lose. Most officials are talking up sanctions against Russia to spite them for backing Crimea's secession and promising to isolate them internationally. Kerry also called for U.S. companies to stop doing business with Russia, though as a practical matter, this seems highly unlikely. In the end, the Obama administration is making a lot of idle threats, and GOP hawks are condemning them for not making even more. Though the U.S. has military forces in the region, it is unthinkable that they would risk a full-scale land war with Russia over a peninsula with a majority Russian population, which is almost certain to back secession in the pending referendum. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Amagi Metals. If you're looking for a place to purchase gold and silver, look no further than Amagi Metals. Amagi Metals offers beautiful gold and silver rounds and ingots at great prices. Amagi Metals carries the 50 gram Cumbi Bar, a 50 gram gold bar comprised of 50 detachable 1 gram gold bars. They also have a 100 gram silver Cumbi Bar and much more. Amagi Metals also accepts Bitcoin and recently added Litecoin and Dogecoin to their payment options. This allows you the ability to convert your Bitcoin, Litecoin, or Dogecoin into precious metals. Shop Amagi Metals at gold.fppradio.com. That's gold.fppradio.com. The AP reports authorities on Sunday blamed a slashing rampage that killed 29 people and wounded 143 at a train station in southern China on separatists from the country's far west, while locals said government crackdowns had taken their toll on the alleged culprits. Police fatally shot four of the assailants, putting the overall death toll at 33, and captured another after the attack late Sunday in Kunming, the capital of Yunnan province. But authorities were still searching for at least five more of the black-clad attackers. State broadcaster CCTV said two of the assailants were women, including one of the slain and the one detained. 
China's top police official said all-out efforts should be made to treat the injured people, severely punish terrorists according to law, and prevent the occurrence of similar cases. FPP Radio News is brought to you by $6 Shirts. $6 $6 Shirts is one of the top t-shirt companies on the web, and they want to be the t-shirt company for the Bitcoin marketplace. They actually give priority to all Bitcoin orders. Go look at their shirts. They're witty, hip, smart, and liberty-oriented. Shop $6 Shirts using my affiliate link, 6.fppradio.com, and help support FPP Radio News. That's 6.fppradio.com. Wired.com reports when former government contractor Edward Snowden revealed that the NSA was conducting digital surveillance on a massive scale, many feared for the future of cloud computing. The Information Technology and Innovation Foundation estimated that Snowden's revelations could cost U.S. cloud companies $22 billion to $35 billion in a foreign business over the next three years, and countless pundits predicted that American businesses would flee the cloud as well. But it looks like the cloud industry is still growing, and in a very big way. The world's largest cloud computing services are run by Amazon, and according to a new study from an independent researcher, Amazon's operations grew by a whopping 62% over the past two years. What's more, the study shows that growth has been steady since June 2013, when the Snowden revelations first hit the news. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Pennington is reeling this hour from one of the biggest stories we've seen in decades. That's right, Kathy. Mayor Sue Hallinan has stepped down following revelations of her involvement in a coupon forging scandal. After a week of fervent denials, Mayor Hallinan admitted that last Thursday she used five counterfeit coupons on a weekly shopping trip to the Kroger for a savings totaling $14.81. Once you've made a fake coupon and you've had a taste of that power, it's hard to stop. Mayor Hallinan also apologized for her first response to the controversy when she blamed Jared the Paperboy for stealing her coupons and replacing them with the fakes. I don't know what to say. She could have ruined my career. I hope she goes to jail forever. And in what many are saying is the ultimate indignity, Mayor Hallinan's photo has been put up on the Kroger so-called banishment wall in between such undesirables as the Frederick's boy and infamous gum thief, Mr. Ivins. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever you want right here till free at 855-450 free. It is the third hour of Free Talk Live, our one and only episode, Mark and myself at least, from this studio this week. Uh, Daryl will be here with Johnny Ray tomorrow for the Live Tuesday edition, and then Mark and I will be broadcasting live on Wednesday and Thursday from the Texas Bitcoin Conference. That's right. Johnny Ray and... Daryl ought to be a hoot. It should be entertaining. And then uh, I think Daryl's going to be doing it again on Friday. I don't know who he has lined up for his co-host then. So we will continue to bring you live content even when Mark and I are not here to do it. Uh, and, of course, you are welcome to continue to tune in and get interactive on the phones at 855-450-FREE. Also, we've got Skype. You may Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. We go to the phones and your calls and thoughts here in a moment. But also, uh, still to come, Allie has a story about the e-cigarettes. I want to tell you how to get your first, maybe your second, fifth Bitcoin wallet. If you don't have a blockchain wallet yet, you probably should consider it. Blockchain.info. Although a lot of people have them. They've got over a million wallets now that they have created for folks. You could have one of them by going to blockchain.info and getting one tonight. Uh, and then the uh, you've got an Android phone. You can get the blockchain app for your Android phone. If you've got an iPhone, sorry, you're SOL as far as apps are concerned, <laughs> but you can still use your web browser on your iPhone to go to blockchain.info, and they have a fully uh, compatible HTML5-based a website version of this web wallet. So even with an Apple device, you can still use and have the power and simplicity of a blockchain.info wallet. They make it easy for you. And their their wallet is encrypted and decrypted in your browser, meaning they don't actually have 
uh, a way to get into your wallet on their servers. You do that in your browser. Well, that's which, a little more comf comforting. It is in comparison to a lot of the online wallets, absolutely. And that's probably one of the reasons why blockchain.info is still there today, unlike a lot of their competitors who have crashed and burned. So get your free Bitcoin wallet tonight at blockchain.info. As we go to Corey, listening in Savannah, Georgia, online through the TuneIn app. Hey, Corey. Hey, guys. Hi. Welcome. Hey, Allie. Hey. Um, so I wanted to call and uh, say some things about why I love Free Talk Live. Um, oh, I recognize right. no, it's, getting, it's getting a little sickening, <laughs> I, but go I, ahead. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I recognize Dave from the uh, Facebook group we have for the AMP people. Um, mm -hmm. And I just want to say that Michael W. Dean from Freedom Fiends and uh, formerly Anarchy Gumbo has a, a few things he says about his program. Um, he says that they, are, they serve as a teaching hospital, and um, I think that, that you actually fit that bill a little bit better because there's more of a sense of community, and uh, I know that I've learned a lot uh, about activism and about uh, discussing things with people and how to approach people about liberty um, via Free Talk Live, um, and it mean, it's meant a lot to me, um, and then also uh, uh, a gentleman's uh, called before Dave and was talking about um, his experience being pulled over with a seatbelt. And uh, Michael talks about uh, show me on the doll where the government touched you <laughs> <laughs> and commiserating about being uh, <laughs> molested by the government. And uh, I think that that's another function that Free Talk Live serves, that everyone can kind of uh, have some kind of sense of solidarity and that, that, that we're all being harassed in some way or another. Um but uh, one more thing I wanted to update you. I've lost 18 pounds so far. Um, just as, as an aside, I, I wanted to keep you all updated on that. So and since when? Update on that. Since when? Do what? 18 pounds uh, since when? Been, I guess it's been about a month and three weeks or that's so. That's pretty good. How many yeah. pounds were you? are you planning to lose, including the 18? Uh, uh, about 100. Oh, wow. I'd like to get down to around 225. So, and what's the good, technique though. you're using here? Do what? What technique are you using for weight loss? Um, well, uh, eating less. Yeah, that's a good one. Exercising more. Yep. I mean, pretty much the, uh, the the oldest trick in the book, really. That's the best um, one from what uh, I'm told. If you can substitute a meal, um, if, you know, if the average person can substitute a meal a day uh, with uh, salad instead, mm. then you're really going to lose some weight. Another thing is water. Water's great because the fact is, is that Cut out beer and put in place water. Well, sure. you know, beer's one thing. Soda pops. There's a lot There's of another one, people yeah. drink a lot of soda, even diet oh. soda. Um, you know, those things, just, just drink the water and you'll be better off. Yeah, the uh, I drink I, I drink a lot of water. It's it's filling, especially if you drink it before a meal. I've also cut out all fast food pretty much. Um, I, I'm in grad school, so <laughs> it's always preparing meals is not always possible. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, fast food uh, is very calorie out, intensive. Well, wait. It depends on it where, what you get, right? I mean. Yeah, but some like Subway. I mean, Subway has less calories. You know, but you also there's not really a drive-through Subway. Well, if you, you go know, to Wendy's, um, you can get salads that are really good. Chili and, salad, and yeah, yeah, and I, there's I no mean, bread in there. Exactly. So the chilies are actually quite good for you and low in calories, high in fiber, surprisingly. Um, and there's there's a lot of options out there. It's all about what's available, though. So you have to you have to really put some thought into it and uh, and really think a lot more than than I used to. But it's something worth thinking about. You know, if I can add, if I can put this much effort into it, and maybe add a few months onto my life, I think it's worth it because I think our lives are the most precious thing we have. I think that that's the a central premise of liberty is that that life is. Uh, precious and rare in the universe. Well, def definitely. Yeah. I cannot really speak from experience. You're probably not the one want you wanting to hear advice about this, but like, cause I'm just thin and I don't try to be thin, but <laughs> I have to say that I think that just in life with anything that don't overrate effort because you can put a lot of effort into something and not get the results and then say, screw effort. I'm just not going to try. Whereas like if, Going to get going to Wendy's or one of these fast food places is a lot easier for you, and you can just 
in that instance not get something that you think is making you fat, then I would say do that instead. Like don't put in a bunch of effort if it's just going to make you burn out if you don't get the results you want. Yeah, well, I've been, I've, I've been, I was 285 pounds in the eighth grade, so I've mm. been large my entire life. Wow. It's a, it was a, it was a growing up thing. You know, I had bad eating habits my entire life. Mm-hmm. So now it's a, it's a completely readjustment. I have to rethink the decisions that I make. You know, I have to rethink all the things that I've have always been. Yeah, and old, uh, old habits die hard. So congratulations. Exactly. I mean, 18 pounds on so, your way to 100. That's a good chunk of the way there. Yeah, so, it's nice. Nice job. It's like Corey. almost 18%. Thanks, Thanks for the call tonight. I appreciate it. Good luck out there at 850. That's exactly right. Yeah, that's very good. <laughs> I'm a big proponent of fast food. I love it. Almost one out of five. Uh, 18%. There you go. You know, I think that... So I don't like a lot of the ingredients that go into fast food. One of the reasons it's low cost is because of the choices of the things that they put in. But I'm not going to say, mm, fast food, bad, you're bad, you're bad. I think that the, the, the finger shaking that goes on is, is a little much. Yeah. Um, I think you've got to, like he said, you know, take a little time, look at the ingredients, uh, choose what's going to be better for you, what's, um, what's not. Uh, I've seen you in here with McDonald's. Oh, I'll eat it. I like it. I'm addicted to it. I was raised on it, and there's no doubt about it. Mm. Well, the thing is... Okay, so if you're comparing fast food to making food at home, then I would say definitely, because anytime you're making something for yourself, you're going to be more conservative about how much stuff, I mean, not I'm not, I'm going to put more cheese than they would put on my burger at, mm-hmm. at a fast food place. But a lot of people, if they're, if they're concerned about certain things that they're eating, then they're going to be smarter about that when they're making it themselves at home. But when people compare fast food versus other places you go out to eat, I feel like the most restaurants we're comparing it to are using it like the qual- how much they spend on their ingredients doesn't mean that they're better for you. And a lot of times they're using like they're buying all their ingredients from Cisco, which is basically the same mm-hmm. place that McDonald's probably gets a lot of their ingredients from. It's the same quality. Know if they get ingredients well, from Cisco at McDonald's. Well, whatever. It's like that's. When Cisco I worked has at an restaurants. incredible selection. I'm not um, saying yeah. I'm not. I think I'm you're saying probably going to find a better quality meat from Cisco than you will from McDonald's, but I could be wrong. What I'm saying know. is, is that it's not healthy for you because you're spending twenty dollars for a meal. So it's not the money certainly isn't it, but oftentimes what um, the in, there's there's an indication uh, by the price how much uh, w- w- as far as the uh, you know the wholesomeness of the ingredients that went in. I it's disagree. an indication. You're less likely to get chicken with rib meat in it at a fancier place. Oh come on. We'll come back with more here in moments. Not that there's anything wrong with rib meat. It's Free Talk Live. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e-cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us... The future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. 
Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what the readers of freedomsphoenix.com get every day. Freedomsphoenix.com, constantly providing the information, the real news about government policies, and the real relationship we all have with the coercive government. The real condition of the economy, innovations in technology, breakthroughs in energy, health, and computer science. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media. The corporate media, nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but now there's an alternative. Freedomsphoenix.com. Constant news updates on the issues that affect your life in the most important ways. With liberty and property under constant attack, FreedomsPhoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda, and it encourages the participation of its readers. Go to FreedomsPhoenix.com. That's Freedoms with an S, Phoenix.com. FreedomsPhoenix.com. The revolution between the ears has already happened. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. When I signed up for the Free State Project, I was excited by the prospect of moving somewhere with other people that had liberty as a goal. When I got here to New Hampshire, I was stunned by the great weather and the natural beauty. The Free State Project is helping to move liberty forward. Want to be involved? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. That's freestateproject.org. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything you want here toll-free at 855-453. That's 855-450-3733, and that's the Pro XPN toll-free line. Pro XPN is a global virtual private network, and it encrypts your online data. Everything leaving and entering your computer, whether your computer's a laptop, whether it's a smartphone, or a desktop, or tablet. Uh, this thing will work for you. ProXPN.com slash FTL. You can grab their app there. There's Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android versions of their app. Install the app. It's very fast. It makes, you know, it's pretty simple. You just click the connect button once it's up and running, and you will be protected. They will begin encrypting your internet data. That way, your internet service provider is no longer able to snoop on you, as they probably are doing right now. If you're not using ProXPN, your ISP is likely logging all the websites you visit in every search term you enter, maybe in some cases for as long as five years. So you can stop that from happening in this moment by going to proxpn.com slash FTL, download their app, and get it installed. The other thing that ProXPN can protect you from is the knowledge that websites have about your location. Normally when you go to a website, they know exactly where your location is. Well, not maybe to the street and the exact location of the physical computer, but they will know the town in which you are. You can go to a lot of websites that will tell you. They'll greet you by acknowledging your location. They figure that out based on your IP address, based on the, you know, the, the distribution of IP addresses throughout the Internet. You can stop websites from knowing where you're located by going to proxpn.com slash FTL, grabbing the app, because what they do is you connect to one of their servers and your data is encrypted until it gets to their server. Then it's fed out to the rest of the Internet. So the Internet thinks that you're coming from the ProXPN server location instead of your actual location. So they basically run interference for you. ProXPN.com slash FTL. Plus, they'll get you around internet blockages like at schools or workplaces or in other countries that prohibit you from accessing certain information. You are not prohibited if you're using ProXPN. So again, ProXPN.com slash FTL. Use our discount code to get 20% off the price of their premium account for the lifetime of the account. You can use this code. It's FTL20. To get that 20% off, FTL20, or save even more. Save 33% by using Bitcoin to pay for their annual plan. And by the way, when you pay for their annual plan with just the ProXPN discount code that we gave you, the 20% off code, you'll pay only 5 bucks a month. 
when the you know break the price down the annual plan over the the year and it's five bucks a month which is a heck of a deal for all the privacy protections we're talking about here pro xpn by the way does not keep records of your online surfing habits and you get it all with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee go to proxpn.com slash ftl and get started and use our discount code ftl20 to save that 20 percent uh, so, our toll-free number here, 855-450-FREE. You know, just to go back real quick to a discussion we were having earlier that I, I didn't feel like we really finished up, uh, was, uh, Ali, you were talking about court and how you think uh, that, you know, it's, it's kind of a bad idea generally to go to court. And I tend to agree that, you know, you're going to lose. It's, my suggestion was you're likely going to lose if you're going to court. You can't expect to win. I think it's a bad idea to expect to win in court because then it's it's harder when you lose right. after you've expected to win. But you're like five and five on your last five cases, right? Um, not me personally. I've had, let's see, a few cases. My last few cases have been, maybe four cases have been... Well, cases good. in which you are involved. Yeah, yeah, I've been I've been pretty good. Yeah, four out of four of my most recent cases were successes. Um, but that's you know we've we've had an attorney come up, Mark, that has has helped with us and you know helped these cases out quite a bit. Uh, attorney John Meyer from Manchester has been but a huge. But the factor. fact is, is that you've been doing it for some time. You've got better at it. You've uh, studied. Um, I how, did win the smoke win alarm case, yep. which I did not have an attorney for, and. I won that at Supreme Court level, actually. I won at the district court level, then they appealed to the Supreme Court, and I won that too because they botched up their appeal and they didn't, they weren't able to correct it. So, uh, yeah, practice does make improvements when it comes to uh, going to court. And my point earlier was that the reason why people should go to court, in my opinion, despite the cost involved, and there is a cost, there's a cost involved in the frustration of dealing with court and dealing with the bureaucracy. There's cost involved in the fact that, you know, if you lose, you could end up having to pay more because a lot of times they'll punish you for taking an issue to court. Um, so there's all kinds of reasons not to do it, and I don't well, then blame anybody. there's also anybody. an opportunity cost where if you have to miss a day of work, you could That's have been true. making money that day. If you're, you know, thinking yeah. about going to court, which is all I would be doing the whole time before my court date, would be thinking about what I'm going to do in court or trying to put it on my mind and be completely unprepared. Yeah. Uh, you know, that stress, you know, there's just, it's a big it's cost stressful. to me. I don't like that. And if it's like... If I don't absolutely have to go, I'm not going. I don't blame you for it. I wouldn't tell anybody they're a bad person for not going to court. Well, thank you. Um, however, it is uh, encouraging them when you don't go to court, and that much I is true. I don't know if that's true. It absolutely is encouraging them. If they know they don't have to work, then they're going to keep doing what they're doing. If they know they're going to get convictions regardless, if they know that all they have to do is write a piece of paper and hand it to somebody and they're going to get money out of you, then you're damn right they're going to keep doing that. But what evidence is there that going to court means they're not going to do that? Well, if you, if enough people were to stop, it doesn't have to be everybody, it could be 10%. If 10% of court cases were to actually go not guilty and schedule a trial, then you'll start to see cases dropped. You'll start to see more and more cases will be dropped, sometimes right before court. So they'll like try to sweat you out, and then they'll drop the case right before you actually go to court. Uh, but you'll start to see that happen, because then they'll, uh, they'll learn the lesson that they can't just get away with this crap anymore. And so as long as people keep bending over and doing what they're told to do, which is just pay the fine, then they're going to keep getting what they've always gotten, which is more fines, more citations, more But what we're talking arrests. about are people who have been ticketed for breaking the law. So these are not mm-hmm. people who are bending over. If they are bending over for the government, they wouldn't have been getting the tickets in the first place. They're no, breaking no, no. The they're law. bending the over after the fact. So everybody gets, breaks it's the true. laws. I mean, these the t- tickets that they give out are really just taxes. Uh, yeah. They're really right? not much different than that. You're expected by the government to just go along and pay the tickets. And that's what all the incentives are in the system is for you to just pay the tickets. It's easiest to do that. You don't have to miss court or you don't have to miss work, as you pointed out. And uh, it makes it so it just seems to go away. But ultimately, what it really does in the long run is it encourages them to keep doing what they're doing, well, Allie, and then you're part of that. I th- oh, my gosh. Okay, well, why don't we Own use... Mar- no, because I think you're wrong. Let's use Mark's analogy earlier with the slave driver. You know, are, are you, if you're taking your whipping from the slave driver, are you encouraging it? If you 
more now in well, pain. It's a poor whoa, whoa, whoa. You How get the is whipping it? either way. Um, the question is, is whether you dispute if you, uh, you know, the, what you, your analogy should be. Well, if you put a complaint in the slave complaint box, no. um, I mean, because that's well, essentially what's going on if, here. If you if you don't run away, if you okay, if you know that if you got if you get caught, if you're in the South, you're black a slave, and you get caught running. That if they capture you, they're gonna beat the crap out of you. Mm-hmm. So it's do not you be good. are you encouraging them by not running? Are you encouraging the slave drivers by not running from them, knowing what the consequences will be if you get caught? Yeah, it's courageous to run, but we can't blame people for not running. Clearly not. No, I wouldn't blame somebody for not going to court. Are they encouraging them? Are they then somehow part of the slave system other than being yeah, a victim? Yeah, if you stay on the plantation, you're encouraging them. Absolutely. That's crazy. 850, you got to take ownership of your own freedom. You can't just expect somebody to do it all for you. 855 450 free. That's the Pro XPN toll free line. It's blaming the victim. There's plenty of slaves who said it was crazy to run off the plantation, and they might have been right from their perspective because they could have gotten caught. Self-reliance, survival supplies, survival skills, national experts. Get it all at the only free-to-attend national event exclusively for preppers. This spring in Tulsa, it's the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, a must-be-there event. Presented by American Living, this massive expo will include special guests. David Mays from Nat Geo's Doomsday Preppers. Plus, GCN Zone Dr. Joel Wallach via live video conference. Hear Dr. Bones, Nurse Amy, and members of the American Prepper Network. Work, along with many other leading national experts. Learn life-saving tips, CPR, how to handle crisis situations, walk through a bomb shelter, and much, much more. Two big days, April 5th and 6th at the Tulsa Expo Square in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's April 5th and 6th. Doors open at 9 a.m. with absolutely free admission. Don't miss the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, America's largest emergency preparedness event. Get your free tickets now. NPSExpo.com. That's NPSExpo.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Boost Kit Essentials Nutritionally Complete Drink. Providing your picky eater with essential nutrition and great taste in one drink. Visit us at kitessentials.com. To make sure your kids eat healthy, follow the five-a-day plan. Serve three servings of vegetables and two servings of fruit daily. Remember, a serving could just mean a piece of fruit or a half cup of veggies. If your kids are picky eaters, ask a nutritionist about other sources. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. Immigrating to the Shire was easy. I was instantly plugged into a community of individuals who also care about peace, liberty, and justice and are willing to do something about it. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. 
Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live, and of course, you can bring up whatever you would like here toll-free at 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online over at freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we have waiting for you. We've got archives. They go back for years, all the way back to late 2006. You can just click and download them for free at freetalklive.com. At coffee.freetalklive.com, you can get a free pound of the best of the best coffee. It's BuzzBox. It's shade-grown, 100% organic, top 1% grade Arabica. Coffee's a very org- uh, absorbent crop, and that makes the organic certification in this case much more important. BuzzBox is uh, competitively priced with other high-end coffees, but they do something that other coffee producers don't seem to care nothing for. They set up a program that allows people around the world to buy into their co-op. Free Talk Live is attempting to recruit 1,000 listeners to order their coffee from coffee.freetalklive.com. So if you drink coffee, it's available to you. Just go there, get your free pound, help us change lives by offering people in poverty an opportunity to change their own lives. Get started now by getting your free pound at coffee.freetalklive.com. You pay the shipping on that free pound. We'll give you the pound of coffee. You can cancel your subscription at any time. It's coffee.freetalklive.com. Let's continue here. We're going to go to the phone calls. Your thoughts are welcome. We're talking about court. Is it worth it to go there? Allie says, no way. I say I didn't say yes. no way. I said it depends on if it serves the person. In most cases, it doesn't seem like it you does. You can't see a reason why it would ever serve you to go to court unless you had to. Unless it was just some kind of circumstances like, well, if I don't, if I plead guilty, then that means that my license will be taken away. Or if I don't show up, they'll arrest me. Right. So you would only go to court under the most uh, let's, dire circumstances. Let, yeah. Let's, the the most me, forced circumstances. For me, going to court, I mean, people weigh it differently. Some people, it's like, no big deal. I don't have a job. Or I don't have this, or going to court doesn't stress me out, you know. But for some people, it's like this is a huge inconvenience, and oh, yeah. it's just creepy to me. Even if it, like, even if I had no other excuse for not wanting to go, I just wouldn't want to go because it is just like it's like a it's like going to a church of a religion you're not familiar with. Yeah, but, that's a good analogy for court. And that church could throw you in a dungeon for right. yeah, that's a true. long time. <laughs> uh, Jason's on the line in Minnesota. You're on Free Talk Live, Jason. Hey, I uh, just wanted to uh, pipe up a little bit on how to avoid going to court and uh, stop any actions before you get there. Okay. Uh, I'll, give you, I'll give you an instance. I live in a very small town, uh, and we have a city council. Uh, my wife actually serves on the city council. I actually worked on the city council as a treasurer for a while as a non-voting position. But uh, you're right. Uh, with these uh, government organizations, only people that show up are the government bureaucrats. Yeah. And uh, they do interpret laws in a way that uh, benefit them. Uh, given this example, um, we have a, a city law, which is a junk ordinance of sorts, and to stop people from trashing their yards and everything else. And they were interpreting the law in one way that said that if your car didn't have cabs on it, it was considered junk. And didn't I challenged what? them and I said, Didn't have what? what? Didn't have what on it? They have a junk ordinance. Right. Well, if your car did not have what on it? Oh, tabs, registration. Okay. Tags. License okay. plate. Okay. So, yes. um, so, so they, uh, they interpreted the law to say that if you do not have your current tabs on your vehicle, it's junk. And I questioned that, uh, and said, well, if I go buy a brand new pickup and put it in my front yard, is it considered junk? And they yes, said, well, yes, it is. And so I challenged them, and I made them go to their attorney and prove that this law was just, and they were um, interpreting it the, right way, the correct way. And uh, they took it to their attorney on their dime, and uh, the attorney came back and said, no, they have to meet all of these qualifications, which had uh, non-running, uh, no tabs, uh, market value was less than what mm. it was worth, and that sort of thing. So, but you're so right. what do you, you know? know the these, government uh, didn't even know its own laws. And by the way, they didn't exactly. go on their own dime. Yeah. <laughs> because realize that most of these people, especially in a small town situation, uh, is that they don't know how to interpret laws. They're not 
uh, trained uh, professionally in how to interpret them, and they interpret them as they want to to get their um, their goals accomplished. You know, exactly. And, uh, so, so that's what they'll do, and they'll claim that a brand new pickup in your front yard without tabs on it is in violation of the ordinance. Well, I'm sure and, the way uh, they, they see it pl- is that they know that there's a lot of laws out there and that everyone's constantly breaking the law. They know it because they know that they're constantly breaking the law. Everyone speeds, you know, everyone does these little things that we know are not legal. And I'm sure that for the bureaucrats in court, they're thinking, you know, well, you're trying to get away with getting caught. We caught you. So what are you doing here? Trying to say that we didn't catch you. We caught you. And they're saying, well, I don't think what you caught me for is what I was really doing. And they're like, no, 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 we caught you. That's basically how court goes. Well, well, yeah, but this is a way to get around going to court because uh, right. I got I got a letter in the mail saying, uh, we're going to fine you $100 a day until you move this vehicle from your property. I said, what? You're going to fine me $100 a day? Where do you have this justification? I went to them and had them read the law and the ordinance, and I said, I think you're reading that law, that law wrong because – you're not interpreting it the way that it's written. And they had to take it to their attorney, and their attorney said, no, you're interpreting the law, the law incorrectly. And um, they asked, well, can we change the, the, mm-hmm. the ordinance so that uh, we can actually go after these people? And he said, no, that's a state law. You cannot change it. You cannot override it. So um, you can use laws to your own advantage as long as they're interpreted correctly. Sure, but you have to be willing to actually take the time to read uh, the ordinance or the statute in question, and that can be a challenge on its own. Sometimes they're written so obtusely that it's very, very difficult to comprehend what is actually being said. I don't think a person of average intelligence is likely to be able to read government laws. I mean, I don't think they're written that way. I don't know. If you really crack at it, some of them, you can can make an understanding. Ian, I'm not suggesting you're of average intelligence. I mean, an average intelligence is a person with an IQ of 100. Hmm. Man, that's a good point. Jason, anything else you want to share tonight? No, I guess I was just on the laws thing. Uh, there's more laws on the books than you can read in your entire lifetime. It's so you true. Eight hours a day, every day of the day, every day of the year. So. Thanks, Jason. I but appreciate yeah, your you call tonight, it. man. Thanks for it. Yeah, I agree. And, I, and so let me give an example, Allie, of uh, like a real life example of how this can work. Uh, so parking tickets here in Keene. It's a five dollar ticket. If you wait, you know, two weeks, it'll go up to ten bucks. They'll send you a notice saying, "Hey, you know, you need to pay this, or else it's going to go up again, and then it might go up again, etc." So the encouragement uh, is that people should go ahead and challenge it right away. So mm-hmm. lock in the five dollar price. Don't let it go up because if you challenge it when it goes up, you're going to have to pay what the amount is that it's gone up to if you get found guilty. So that way your risk is only five bucks and, of course, the time that it takes to uh, to go to court. So there is that. And if you're a work, you know, if you're a work a day person, then it, I don't again, I don't blame anybody personally for taking a plea deal. That's the most convenient thing for most people. And that's why it's popular for people to take plea deals. However, you should know that you are encouraging them every time you do take a plea deal. So if people start doing this, and people have, and the reason that's why the reason I'm giving you this example, I was told by James Cleveland, who is known as Robin Hood here in Keene. Uh, and for those that don't know, Robin Hooders are people who go around and they feed expired meters prior to the meter maid reaching said expired meter to write a ticket. So basically, they prevent the meter maid from writing tickets for people, and this has become a national news item and actually an international news item. And it's a fascinating thing you can learn more about by going to freekeen.com and clicking the Robin Hood tag. There's a lot of information there about that. But what James told me was that he had been uh, told by people, so obviously we're talking about hearsay here, but he had been told by people who had received information from Robin Hood. See, what happens when you get saved is Robin Hooders will leave a card, which basically has a picture of Disney's Robin Hood on it and says, hey, we saved you from the King's Tariff. You know, it's kind of a cute little thing. But if you get a ticket, let's say a Robin Hooder hits the streets and they've already and they find a few ticketed cars because they weren't on the street or whatever, right. you know, they just didn't save those people for whatever reason, they have a secondary item that they can leave. So instead of leaving a card saying they were saved, they they didn't they weren't saved. They weren't saved. Uh, they leave an informational sheet which encourages folks to take the ticket to court and gives them information on how to go about doing that. And so some people were were apparently doing this. They were taking right. the advice, the suggestions, and they were going to demand their trials. And what was happening was people when they were going to demand the trial, they were having the charges dropped. 
wow. right then. Now, if I were to go and do it, they wouldn't do the same thing to me. If a liberty, a known liberty activist or a known Robin Hooder were to go and ch- challenge a ticket, they're going to go to court. Well, it worked but, out for those people but then. But the average people who were saying, I want to take this to court, weren't even getting the court date. It was just being dismissed right there on the spot. That's what I've heard. It's Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com Hi, this is Ted Anderson. If you'd like to listen to GCN programs on the go, I have great news. GCN has created a Droid and iPhone application, and it's free. Just as easy as going to GCNlive.com, click on the banner and download. Before you know it, you'll be listening to your favorite hard-hitting GCN shows, live or on demand, right on your Droid or iPhone, 24-7 and on the go. So download the Droid and iPhone app free by clicking on the banner at GCNlive.com. Thanks again for listening to GCNlive.com. Again, that's GCNlive.com. Hi, this is Larry Smith. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. When the cleaners ruined some special clothing, all they could do was show us a sign that said they weren't responsible. But when they got the letter from one of our Legal Shield attorneys, he promptly gave us a check for $1,152. Worry less and live more with lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. That's 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self-government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Moments remain here, but enough time for you with your thoughts. If you dial in right now at 855-450-FREE or Skype us, our Skype username is lrn.fm. And again, that's user lrn.fm. Just send a contact request. It will be approved. 
and then you'll easily be able to get on with us here. And you'll sound great, usually, if you're on Skype in comparison to the telephone line. Free State Project, your best chance at achieving liberty in your lifetime. Go to freestateproject.org, get signed up for this wonderful movement of what will be 20,000 liberty-minded people who are going to be converging their activist activities here in New Hampshire to make sure that uh, we actually have a chance at achieving liberty in our lifetime. Uh, We've got a good chance if we get enough people together in the same physical geographic location. That's the reason why the three of us are in the studio here tonight. We don't all agree on everything, but one thing that we do generally agree on is that more freedom is a good thing. And freedom being your right to live your life how you want, so long as you don't hurt anybody in that process. I like it that way. Yes. And also... In order to be free, you have to allow others to be free who may be living their life in a slightly different way than you might live your life, or maybe in a totally different way. So long as everyone's consenting, it's none of your business. So if you agree with those ideas, if you love freedom, go to freestateproject.org. You owe it to yourself to check it out. Check out their 101 Reasons to Move to New Hampshire. I found them very persuasive, and they've done a good job of kind of keeping them up to date over the years and new hampshire really is not only is it the best place right now for freedom but as more people move here as part of the free state project it'll become even better in fact uh i had an interesting day today here in Keene, new hampshire i discovered that a hit piece flyer has been made against me oh which wow made me very happy you're not uh, even running for out. office right now are you i am oh, i'm okay. actually running for a school board here in Keene. And that was what the hit piece flyer, one of the sides of the hit piece flyer was about. One side was about the Robin Hooders and how Robin Hooders aren't what they seem to be and they're really bad people and blah, blah, blah. So it was one side. Just because they're saving you from parking tickets doesn't make them good. Right. And uh, so they cited a quote from Graham Colson, who's actually not a Free State Project participant. Called him a Free State Project. They called him a Free State Project participant. And they cited a quote from him about not liking the American government. And so they, you know, of course, said that we we hate the soldiers and we hate the government and da, 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 da. So there's this one side. Of course, it's really just kind of garish and harsh looking, just an ugly <laughs> it's flyer. It's really, really poor. Did they put done. your picture on there? Uh, uh, my picture, I believe, is on the back side of it. On the so on the other side, there's it's all about me. So one side's about the Robin Hooders, the other side's about me and my campaign for school board. Uh, the uh, they actually cite my campaign answers that I gave for the newspaper. So whenever you whenever you run a political campaign here in town, the newspaper will send you a questionnaire, and you can fill out those questions, send it back to the paper, and they'll publish it. So they took my answers to those questions, about three out of the four, I think. And or three out of five of them, and they published my full answers nice. on the back side of this. And then they highlighted a few things they thought were really bad, like, Free advertising. I, want end, like I want to end the war on drugs, for instance. And so they they highlighted that, and they said that I'm well, a my, bad person. My favorite is is they called you a liar for answering the question, "Do you have a family?" With yes. Well, the question was family. There was no actual <laughs> right. question around that, so it was so, like a. You know, it was kind of like a, an informational thing you were yep. supposed to fill out. I answered it yes, rather than talking about my family in detail. So That's yeah, all. well, I mean, it's it's really a strange thing to ask. Uh, it's not. It's a poorly worded question, right? Do you have a family? Well, again, that wasn't the question. Right, the question but I know. Was, but but do you understand family. how? Why do you have a family? Is a, okay. So family yes. is a bad question. Yeah. But do you have a family? Still not a particularly good question because everybody's got a family, right? Yeah. Now, do you have children? No. Um, do you no. have a wife? No. Well, so the the backside of it said, he's lying. He doesn't have any children. What? Because I'd said yes to the family inquiry. Yeah, well, that's a confusing. I would say was, that I have a family. It was the single best piece of evidence that they had that he was lying was just <laughs> that he answered yes that's to pretty good. family. The best they got, yeah. If I read that, if I didn't know Ian, I'd be like, wow. This is this guy sounds great. That's the best they that's the best lie they could find is he said yes, dude, do they have family? Like yeah, I think the, that would be pretty obvious. The family line they picked out and then the thing about ending the war on drugs because, you know, apparently they want to keep putting teenagers in jail cells. Well, I mean, right now states are legalizing marijuana, yeah. so um, when people think of the war on drugs, that's often what they think about. So it's not exactly the most unpopular opinion. And somebody's taking their time to go distribute these and put them under uh, car uh, windshield wipers. I think it's uh, it's really great for that's you. That's why I said I was elated to find this out. Actually, there's a delivery driver downtown who's a Free Talk Live listener. Uh, he works for one of the Chinese restaurants in downtown Keene. 
and uh, he came by today to give me a copy of this flyer, which was placed on his car windshield, uh, you know, by whoever this mysterious person is that's out there trying to attack me. And uh, I was just so grateful to find that find that out today that this person was putting them on multiple car windows downtown. And they paid for full color printing of this thing. I mean, it's you know full color, two sided. Wow. Uh, not a not a cheap print job, I'm sure. It's ugly, but U- ugly flyer. But the printing wasn't cheap. <laughs> and uh, so you know, just the fact that they are just they're printing my words on this flyer. I mean, even if they hadn't printed my words, even if it had just been a hit piece against me, just like Ian's terrible or etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, then I still would have been happy about it because essentially. Them giving attention to me or Robin Hooders or anything of the Liberty Movement is more attention than we would have otherwise had. And I love it that uh, the people who oppose the Free State Project are so f- afraid. And loud. And so loud about it. And uh, there's, it's, it's actually similar things are happening in Bedford, New Hampshire this year. Usually we're, we're used to getting attacked here in Keene. Uh, but apparently a couple guys are running, a couple Free State Project participants, Aaron Day is one of them, another guy named yep. Mike Phillips, uh, or Matt, excuse me, Matt Phillips. I don't know either of them, but... Uh, well, I, I know Aaron. Okay. Anyway, they're both uh, running for you know town office, one running for a town council, the other for school board in this uh, relatively small town. I guess probably about 15,000 people live in uh, the Bedford area, I think I saw. It's almost a small city there. Yeah, it's kind of, it's like right on the outskirts of Manchester. And it's Bedford, the rich area. They are under attack big time. They're, the political establishment there is striking out against them. There's some muckety-muck uh, politico who's got him. He's like a former town councilor. He's got his own cable access show. Ooh. And he went on the air on his cable access show to out the free staters and attack the free state project and this and that. But it was great because he kept encouraging his audience to research the Free State Project yeah. and kept flashing up the URL on the screen, freestateproject.org. It was a 20-minute video. It must wow. have flashed up there at least six or seven times. And so you know, his encouragement was to go ahead and research this and find out about the Free State. Please, please go ahead. Encourage people to find out about the Free State Project. A lot of people in New Hampshire are going to like what they hear about the Free State Project when they find out about it. Some people aren't going to like it. Those people work for the state, and too bad for them. So it doesn't bother me at all when these people do this stuff. I like it. What we often find, we found, I don't know about often, but we have found in in certain circumstances is people that get the most outraged that don't work for the government will, you know, they'll rant and rave for a year or Mm -hmm. two, and then they leave the state. They're like, this isn't worth fighting. Yeah, a lot of them have left. Then they pick up and leave. And what this reminds, you know, it it, it it just goes to show that activism, no matter what kind of activism you do, it's difficult. And if you're the only one out there, the only momentum is you, you get burned out. This well, is the that problem was... that liberty activists have had around the country. And this is why I chuckle to myself when people say, oh, yeah, I'm not moving to New Hampshire for liberty. It's cold. <laughs> okay, good, because you weren't worth it. Wasn't worth you having you move. Well, like one of the things I wanted to point out about this, and we'll get to your phone call here in a moment, uh, but. Ask yourself, if you're a liberty activist where you live, are the libertarians getting that kind of hatred? Are the libertarians being attacked like that? In the, you know, If a libertarian runs in a three-way race there, wherever it is you live, are they being attacked as a threat? Are they being singled out in any way, shape, or form? Are they even being acknowledged? Yeah, they're probably being ignored. Are they being paid attention to in any way, shape, or form? Answer's probably no. No one ever gave a damn about the libertarian campaigns because you know why? They weren't a threat to the establishment. But you know, it's a but shame because, are. because listening to Democrats and Republicans debate and argue is so boring and just, it's like, you know, makes you brain dead. Mm-hmm. But when you can get one of those groups or any group in a libertarian debating, it is. It's more interesting. It's way more interesting because at least one position is consistent. Yep, and we're bringing a lot of that to the table here in New Hampshire. Go to freestateproject.org, learn more. We've got Mick in Virginia. I think listening to. Uh, I don't know, Mick. What's your? Uh, where are you at in there in Virginia? I'm over at a truck stop here in uh, Mount Jackson. Oh, excellent. So you're listening to WSVG. Go ahead with your thoughts. Yes, sir. Um, I think there's a LibertyTree.com I hear Mark Levin talk about, but I use uh, Truckers Legal because I'm a trucker, and mm-hmm. uh, if I get a ticket like, say, in Mississippi, like I had a couple of tickets this guy cop gave me, and uh, um, it only costs like a couple dollars a week, which is pretty cool. So what, do they help you out? So, it's like uh, a for, prepaid legal thing? 
Yes, and for a hundred dollars, you know, you got a lawyer in that area that uh, sweet. Knows the, yeah. Yeah, Nick, I wish we had more time cool. to talk to you, man, but we are out of time for tonight. I appreciate you listening, and call us any other time right, you like want at freetalklive.com. Call earlier in the show. We'd be happy to talk to you for longer, and I appreciate your All call right. tonight, we'll sir. You, yep. More tomorrow night. See you there at freetalklive.com. Are you making sense to the boomer mindset? I'm Holland Cook from survivalspeech.com. 80 million baby boomers comprise 25% of the population and control most of the USA's wealth. As aging parents pass on, they'll control more. Boomers are 46 to 65 years old and regard themselves as midlife. They identify as neither young nor old. They're post minivan and pre retirement. And they don't like being called boomers. They think me. Many of the purchases boomer couples make are individual purposes. They've been experimenters all their lives. If you want their attention, tell stories and keep it simple. If something seems complicated, boomers can dismiss it as, I don't need this. And if you're looking for work, you may be applying to a boomer, so relate accordingly. From survivalspeech.com, I'm Holland Cook. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency, and Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available right now. Learn it, use it, and spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Liberty Conspiracy is next, after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates, online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Monday, March 3rd, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,346, silver opened at $21.44, and Bitcoin is trading at $589.86. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication, along with distribution and promotion for your musical or visual needs. Online at affordablesound.com or give them a call 512-459-5253. Support also comes from Sovereign BTC, media, marketing, and consulting for the Bitcoin ecosystem, online, SovereignBTC.com. And support comes from The Corey Moore Show, live Friday nights, 9 o'clock central, at CoreyMooreShow.com. On Sunday, Ukraine's acting president stated that the Russian military offered an ultimatum to the Ukrainian army and navy to surrender and leave their bases. Although the ultimatum called on the troops to abandon by 5 a.m. Sunday, Ukrainian troops continued to occupy the bases. Meanwhile, thousands of protesters gathered and stormed government buildings, replacing Ukraine's flag with Russian flags. Mt. Gox is blaming theft through hacking for its losses, saying it's looking into a criminal complaint. CEO Mark Carpolese posted the announcement on the Bankrupt Exchange's website, outlining the events that resulted in the company's insolvency, while saying there's a high probability of theft being behind the disappearance of the bitcoins held by the exchange. The Seattle Times reports the statement also informs readers that Mt. Gox will try to resume business as a way of increasing repayments to its creditors. British financial authorities have decided to cancel a planned 20% value-added tax on Bitcoin. The new decision is expected to be announced this week and comes on the heels of bans by Russia in the beginning of Senate hearings in the United States. Under the new British guidelines, virtual currencies would be classified as assets or private money removing the coins from taxation under the VAT. Bitcoin will still face other forms of taxation in Britain. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Roberts and Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. They don't feed the banks by taking credit cards, 
but you can bet they take Bitcoin online at rrbi.co or by phone at 800-874-9760. Support is also provided by Central Texas Gunworks online at centraltexasgunworks.com. And from Cabo Bob's, Southwest Burritos with homemade tortillas online at cabobobs.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Monday, March 3rd, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. An estimated 450 people were arrested Sunday after staging a mass die-in and zip-tying themselves to a fence outside the White House in protest of the completion of the Keystone XL pipeline. The majority of the protesters were university students coming together to demand that President Obama block approval of the northern leg of the pipeline. Revelations that Britain's spy agency has intercepted the private data of Yahoo users has left three U.S. senators outraged. Russia Today reports Senate Intelligence Committee members Senators Martin Heinrich, Mark Udall, and Ron Wyden are planning to launch an investigation, releasing a joint statement about the matter on Friday. They want to know if the NSA has been involved in the British operation, which includes the collection of Yahoo users' images by secretly connecting to personal webcams. Apple CEO Tim Cook delivered a strong message to climate change deniers during the